Yo, what's good YouTube? It is What If Entertainment here with a new What If, and it's today's What If you're going to be watching the What If of Above. This is going to be a What If intro that I'm going to put in for every What video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm finally back, but if I'm not, if, it, if it's like, um, it, it's a whole thing. I hope you guys enjoy the What If. Let's just get into it. She got these other bitches mad, huh? She in her bed, huh? Two face thick, yes, I need the bed. Can't know about her, I'm a crash boy. I'm on your ass, boy. Fuck that other nigga, hurt her, that's her last boy. You think that I ain't about it, pussy nigga, but I ask for it. I put them in the balance, bitch, I fly without a passport. I like how she's styling, pretty face, don't need a bag for it. She said, do you got it? You ain't even got a ass for it. So, this would have starts off with a young Naruto. Naruto, well, more or less Naruto after he had just been taken on in by the years. And this Naruto, like I said in the title suggests, will be Uchiha from Kushina. Kushina would be a half Uchiha, half Uzumaki, while Minato is a half Uzumaki, half Namikaze. Similar to what Naruto would have been, but yes. This is actually more or less actually how Kushina and Minato met. They weren't related, but they were a part of the same clan. So they kind of were related, but yeah, that's not the point. Naruto, <clears throat> Naruto will be taken in by Hiruzen and would eventually announce to the um to the ninja clan heads about Naruto's um Naruto's name being Naruto Uzumaki, saying that he's the container of the QB. Also revealing that he is his father and mother are Minato and Kashina. Now Fugaku being there would see this as a sort of way to possibly overthrow the village, seeing as how they had just been recently moved to the outskirts of the hidden leaf. Fugaku would then, um, at the meeting, would then tell Hiruzen that Hiruzen will hand over Naruto because Naruto has Uchiha blood in him. Well, it may not be as much as in the other Uchiha, he has Uchiha blood within him, which means that the Uchiha can have a right to take him in, even away, take him away from the Hokage himself. Hiruzen was sorry at this, knowing that there was nothing he could do, but he would do something to keep an eye more or less on Naruto. He would move the Uchiha clan within the center, the direct center of the of Konoha, having a compound built with a training ground. And eventually, Fugaku would take Naruto when he would meet Mikoto and everything. But Fugaku and the clan heads, well, and the older clan members would feed, not, would do the bare minimum for Naruto, make sure he only ate enough. Naruto and would make sure that he grows strong. And at the age of two, Naruto would begin physical training, not really unlocking his chakra until the age of three, where they would train him in his fire affinity. Because Naruto is an Uchiha with the nine tails, with the potential to unlock, be possibly one of the strongest Sharingan uh, ever. <clears throat> so for years, this would go on like this, where they train Naruto's uh, fire affinity, along with training his Taijutsu and even his swordsmanship. Naruto would be extremely powerful. <clears throat> Naruto would be extremely powerful um, from a very young age, probably being on par with most Jonians by the age of seven. When, but there will only be one upside, two, or more or less three upsides for Naruto. Those being his two friends and the one person he could see as a mother figure. This being Itachi and Shisui, along with his mother figure being Mikoto Chiha. Naruto would never really be visited by Hiruzen in this what if because the Uchiha clan had taken Naruto in but had hidden him away from Hiruzen. So every time Hiruzen had come to see him, Fugaku had always told, Naruto, told Hiruzen that Naruto was on a training trip with some of the Uchiha clan members and is not to be bothered for now. <clears throat> so eventually Naruto would grow strong but he would also grow to hate the Uchiha clan. They put him through hell every day just for them to gain what power, fame. From his name, he doesn't know. <clears throat> so Naruto would begin to grow, grow and resent the G.I. clan, especially since they forcefully uh, had him uh, forcefully unlocked his Sharingan. And you guys may ask how this went, and I'm going to do a brief explanation. So one day when Naruto was around the age of five, Fugaku had used his Sharingan on Naruto, trying to control him and the QB. But the QB seeing this and being in a new Chiha somewhat host, will forcefully unlock Naruto Sharingan and, and um, will progress it to his most mature, his most purest state, being the three Tamoi Sharingan. He wouldn't be able to progress it 
to the to to, to the um Mangekyo yet, but he would eventually. <clears throat> and would use this to combat Fugaku's um Genjutsu on the Naruto. It's not Fugaku, Fugaku did use a Genjutsu powered by the Mangekyo Sharingan. Naruto has a three tone Sharingan with the nine tones within him, which so that should be enough for him to combat this. Fugaku would be surprised by this, thinking that maybe Naruto has the nine tones under control and had the nine tones supposedly unlock his Geki Yunkai. Where they would push his training even further, with Naruto learning a lot of Jutsus, including the Jutsus of Madara. Now, for throughout the next two years, Naruto will continue training his fire, his fire release, and his other skills up until the way of his fires being white instead of the normal red or orange or yellow. They're now white, and we all know why I'm going to do white. And later on in the series, I will be introducing another color of flames. But it'll be like once this is done, because I've already recorded that part, the second half. I re I'm re-recording the first half of the what if. The second half is putting this is the first half. <clears throat> so, eventually, Naruto will turn 9, and around his ninth birthday, Naruto will be brought into the loop about the Uchiha clan and their coup with Naruto by Itachi and Shisui, with Itachi and Shisui being Naruto's best friends. So, Naruto would then ask what is it that they need him to do, they said that they need Naruto to meet them at the training spot in case something happens. And they need him to stay there, away from the Uchiha clan, so the Uchiha can't use him to basically overthrow whatever is going to happen. So Naruto would nod. Naruto would head to the same cliff. Naruto would accept this and would head to that cliff where Shisui and Itachi trained, fought with, and talked at. Where <clears throat> eventually Naruto would be met with by Shisui, but Shisui is missing an eye. And eventually Itachi would show up, telling Shisui that he had felt something was wrong. So he had, um, he had dec um, not abandoned his mission. I believe he would decline the mission. <clears throat> so he um so Shisui would then give them the information on what happened that Donzo had attacked him and had taken his other eye and that all he had was one eye left. He would tell um, Naruto and Itachi that he's going to leave Naruto a gift. He's tell Itachi to make sure Naruto is safe and to do the right thing <clears throat> to do the right thing and to ensure that their clan survives. Itachi nodding. Itachi and Naruto both agreeing with Shisui, Shisui will take out his eye as a crow would flow from his hand as it would then land within on Naruto's shoulder. With Shisui telling Naruto to sign the, I'm not sign the, I won't have him sign the crow con contract. He would tell Naruto to, um, <clears throat> tell Naruto that this bird would always follow him around. And that this bird can perform a transformation due to that makes it invisible. To all others. Well, with the Shark Guard, can actually make it again due to that makes it invisible to almost everything. Telling Naruto to, that this bird will watch out over him in case Donzo tries to come for him because Shisui and then Itachi would then reveal to Naruto about the Nine Tails. Telling Naruto that this is the real reason why the Uchiha clan pushes him so hard because they want to use Naruto as a weapon against the Hidden Leaf. Telling Naruto that there's one person in the Hidden Leaf, that can, there's a couple people in the Hidden Think that being Hiruzen and Kakashi Hatake, along with a few others. <clears throat> Itachi would then tell Naruto to watch over his little brother, as uh, Shisui would say yes, to watch over Sasuke, as he Shisui already knows what what choice Itachi now has to make. And Shisui would eventually say yes, goodbye, friends, as he falls back on the cliff, saying his final goodbye. This would unlock both Naruto and Itachi's Mangekyo, with Naruto's basically being like Obito's itself with nine of those, nine of his, um, what is it called? I know it's called the, um, Kaleidoscope Eye, that's what the Mangekyo shining on is called, but what is, the nine, we're gonna say nine scythe, like, scythe blades or something, I can't really describe that perfectly. <clears throat> and nine pointed Ninja Star or something. Nine point and Ninja Star. Like that. So Luffy, I'm not Luffy, dang it. I was just listening to a, um uh One Piece What If. Anyways. So um Naruto would eventually unlock his mind get killed, sorry God. And Itachi would decide not to, would decide actually to tell Naruto this. I'm gonna have him tell Naruto this, but would tell Naruto the backlash of using it. Telling him to only use it in the most dire of situations. So, 
eventually Itachi will leave. Going on with nine to staying there later that for the next two days will go on to massacre the Uchiha clan. And once Itachi um gives his report to Hiruzen, Itachi would then tell Naruto that he can go back into the he can go back into the Uchiha clan to do whatever he sees fit. And if it, but and he would then tell Naruto to look out for his brother. Where Naruto would then tell Itachi what he did, his brother is extremely going to be messed up in the head. And if he and if his brother gets out of line, Naruto will put him down. As Itachi then asked Naruto not to because he wants Sasuke to kill him to redeem himself. As Naruto says, as far as I know, Itachi, you're a hero. And if it comes to it, I will not let Sasuke kill you. I would rather kill Sasuke before he, I allow him to kill you. Itachi will thank Naruto, thank him that he's a, he was a good little brother. <clears throat> as eventually Itachi will leave the Hidden Leaf Village and would go on to join the Akatsuki. With the, well, obviously he would leave actually with Obito, but or to, or Madara, as we know of him now. <clears throat> Eventually, Naruto will walk out of the GL clan, but he would be met by Donzo. With Donzo asking some of the root men to seize him, but only for Hiruzen to appear, and would then ward off Donzo and his root men, telling Naruto to come with him. Along with, the, he would then tell his Ambu to grab Sasuke. Itachi would then um, appear next to Donzo, would actually be one of the Ambu next to Donzo, actually. Even a clone, at least. It would be a clone, not the real Itachi. We we'll reveal Donzo, tell him not to touch Naruto or Sasuke, or he will leak Konoha's, um, he will leak the inf information to other villages about Konoha. He will leak Konoha's secrets to them. Donzo will, will think, you know, he can't touch Naruto. As we eventually go to Hiruzen telling Naruto that his name that he's the whole Kage of the village that they've never met because the Uchiha clan had kept them away from him. As Naruto says he knows of this. He's seen the Uchiha's um um push him away from him, saying that he wasn't allowed to visit him because he was on a training trip of sorts. As Hiruzen says, how would you as Naruto says I was always within the Uchiha compound. I was always being pushed to train, tortured, to become the best Uchiha. Apparently to become a weapon, I guess. This was shock years in saying that there was no way for a child to live, but he hopes to remedy that. He would then tell Naruto that he wants to place him within the academy, that he'll be there until he turns 16. Naruto or Naruto. Naruto will become extremely cold during throughout these times, but would, well, to some people, but would be otherwise happy to most. To most others, but no one knowing of him having housing the nines is because Naruto, the Uchiha clan was like, Yeah, no, no one's revealing that to be. Um, he he was never got the chance to reveal that to um, Donzo or the elders, so they still don't know about the nines. Well, Donzo knows, but it's kind of a little bit too late to tell the village that you know Naruto has the nines as well. It's not, but it really is because a lot of the villagers have already gotten over a little bit of uh, gotten over their hate actually. So it wouldn't have the effect that Donzo would want. <clears throat> so Donzo um then will back off from that. But he would still want Naruto to be one of his root men. So eventually Naruto would join the academy where he would meet Sasuke Chiha. And Sasuke, knowing Naruto's one of the last remaining Uchiha, would walk up to him asking him, What is his goal in life? Is it to kill Itachi like this? And Naruto says no. He doesn't care what happened. And he would then reveal to Sasuke that he's actually glad the Uchiha was massacred. Saying that he denounces that clan and he's going to be taking up his true name, Naruto Uzumaki. Which is as far as he knows. He just knows his mother was an Uzumaki, along with his father. I mean, so they go by the Namikaze name. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> this would shock Sasuke into anger. He would grow to resent Naruto for this. Naruto was bad mouthing their clan. Eventually, Naruto would head to his own house, and when, when he would get there, he would find um, he was in there waiting for him, along with the man with silver hair. But this man then telling um, this man that approaching Naruto, saying that his name is Kakashi Hatake, and that he he was Naruto's father's he was Naruto's father's student. His Naruto's father was his sensei, basically, and that was kind of confusing for me to say. I'm not gonna. He would reveal this to Naruto, telling Naruto that he wants to take Naruto as his own personal apprentice. Which would shock 
which would shock Naruto, but he would nonetheless agree. This would, you know, make Hirujin extremely happy. As Hirujin then revealed to Naruto that Itachi had left him something. A blade that was supposed to be given to Naruto the day that the Chia clan was supposed to attack. With Kakashi wondering what this is about, Naruto would say, so he told you that I knew. As Hirujin said, sadly, yes. I would hope that you would keep this a secret for now. As Naruto says, until until I feel like it, then yes, I will keep it, keep it a secret. As he usually would give Naruto a blade, this blade was called the Elemental Blade of the Uchiha clan. I can't really think of another name for it. It was a blade that was meant to channel elements within it and to use the elements as if they were extensions of the sword. It's meant to be doing some pretty big, good things with. And this is a sword that the Uchiha clan was training Naruto to use. It was, a, it was actually forged for Madara. But Madara chose to not use this, only, he chose to use his gun by and scythe more than everything else. You know, it's a black blade, it was, it's a, it has a, um, I gotta make sure I'm doing this right. It was a black handle with a black silver, but the blade itself had a white, a white, a very whitish color. You know, I wouldn't say a white color, I want to say like a gray, a very dark, a dark gray, not a very dark gray because it would be borderline black, but. Maybe he's somewhat borderline black or something like that. Naruto would use this blade, saying that he would use this blade to, sh um, to um, while he would take something from the Uchiha clans. They had ta basically taken his life to try and turn him into a weapon. He would take a weapon from them. He would take something from them as they had taken something from him, his own life. They had even taken his childhood away from him. So Naruto would decide to take this weapon from so Naruto would grow throughout the years, being friends with some of the people within the academy. He's mostly being Shikamaru, Sakura, Choji, and um, Kiba, and Shino. Yeah, those five. Um, well, and, you know, this is an MA6. Basically friends with almost everyone else except for, um, except for Hinata, and, well, not Hinata, actually. He would be somewhat friends with Hinata, but except for Sasuke. Everyone would be like a Uchiha, they would be an Uchiha fan club, but they, then Naruto, it does have the Shotgun God, so everyone will see him as an Uchiha, even though he says that his name is Uzumaki, his nail's name is Uzumaki. So, <clears throat> everybody, Naruto would have a fan club that is shared with him by Sasuke, so he does have fan girls too, those both being Sakura and Ino, along with Sasuke's having Sakura and Ino as fan girls. A lot of people are indecisive on who they like more. So with eventually time skip to the after the graduation exams, everybody will be waiting because really more or less Naruto does pass this. There's no way he's failing this. And Mizuki would obviously um he's the only person that was there that was the dead last that he could pull this this stunt with would be Kiba. But or Shikamaru, but neither of them are dumb enough to follow this. So, yeah. So Mizuki would eventually do it himself, but he would eventually be caught by Hirozen who would kill Mizuki on the spot before taking the scroll back. Now this, I did not say that Naruto had learned in Jutsu, but in truth he did learn in Jutsu from the Uchiha clan. And Jutsu that they had saw fit for him, which one of them being the Shadow Clan Jutsu, which sped up his training. And there's a reason why I didn't go, and I'm going to go over what Naruto did for those years from the age of 9 to 16. So each Naruto would find out that he has an affinity for four of the five elements. With wind being his strongest, then there's lightning, his second strongest. Then there's wind, stern, and then fire, his weakest. While fire is just, he can use fire to a higher extent to anything anyone else, Naruto, wind is still his strongest. Or I should have an Naruto be his wind, then fire, then lightning, and then um, water. Naruto would train his other affinities and then do it for four years, which I would think would take him up to. What is nine plus five? Nine plus four is fourteen, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I'm stupid. So, um, nine plus four is thirteen, actually. So that's another three years. Oh, there's literally three more years, actually. So Naruto would actually spend um two years on his um on training the other elements as far as he can, and he would make up with this by using the Shadow Clone Jutsu, 
and matching out the maximum amount of shadow clones so that they his his use of usability of it would equal that his usability of his fire ninja too. So Naruto would be a pretty strong shinobi, being and being trained by Kakashi, Naruto would be extremely strong. Kakashi teaching Naruto more, a lot more of the inner workings of the Sharingan that he has figured out from his own use of it. So eventually we will come to the day that they will all be assigned getting teams. Because Naruto and Sasuke are the last two Chihas, obviously they two of them will be on the team with Sakura. <laughs> I'm saying Chiha or Zamaki, with Sakura. And then the other team would be much more. Well, every team is like is similar to canon and everything. And when Naruto would meet with the go away for the Jonies and say, Naruto would actually know exactly where Kakashi would be at. So he would go to meet Kakashi a lot earlier. He would actually go to meet Kakashi at where Kakashi is normally at. As Kakashi then says, Oh, Naruto, you're here. I was going to tell you to do this after, but we can do it now. As Naruto. And Kakashi would then tell Naruto that he was going to, um, he wants Naruto to sign his summoning contract with the dogs. So Naruto would try to, but see, the word is try. Every time Naruto summoned or tried to write his name in blood, it would disappear with a mark of a dragon appearing. It was shocked to both Kakashi and Naruto, not knowing what this means. So Kakashi would summon Pakun, who would inform them that another uh, summoning animal group has staked their claim on Naruto and they would have to get their permission for Naruto to um, Naruto would have to get their permission to make the dog summons his secondary summoning contract. Kakashi would be a little bit sad that his own student can't be his, you know, his main summoning, his, can't, his dogs can't be his student's main summoning contract. But, you know, he'd be a little bit He'll be, um, he would, um, you know, take it in pride. At least he has a chance to have having Naruto sign it. So eventually, uh, Naruto and Kakashi would head back to the classroom with Naruto appearing only a few minutes before Kakashi would. As Kakashi then said Team 7, as they were walking, he says, hmm, I only like one of you guys here. The rest, you're just a, well, fangirl and you're an emo. He seems all right. Naruto, um, thumbs up. As Naruto then walks up to Kakashi asking where they're going now. Kakashi then says, meet him on top of the roof. As Naruto walks out the classroom before disappearing in a fire, in a fire body flicker. I mean, like a little flame body flicker. As, um, eventually he would meet Kakashi on the rooftop with Sasuke and Sakura appearing. Sasuke, you know, being a little similar to himself, will be annoyed that someone else is stronger than him. Whether they're in Jiha or not. Because Naruto has even denounced the Uchiha name, which makes him even more furious. He would ask Naruto to, to give him the techniques, or more or less tell him. But, you know, Naruto would then tell Sasuke to leave him alone. As Naruto has to rem constantly remind himself of his promise to Itachi. So eventually, Naruto would then get to, um, Kikashi would then tell them that they're going to be doing introductions. He introduces himself, Sakura does, and Sasuke goes. With Sakura's being somewhat similar to her, she says she doesn't hate Naruto. And Sasuke's being the exact same and says that he wants to he wants to defeat someone. And then um and, and then he wants to kill another person. He would look at Naruto when he says defeat someone, but would say kill he would look away when he says kill. Seeing Kakashi to say that Sasuke has holds a grudge against Naruto but still wants to kill Itachi. When it goes to Naruto, Naruto says that he likes a lot of things and he hates his Uchiha clan and arrogant people. <clears throat> he said his dream is to just become a strong shinobi, to reunite with the person he once considered a brother, and to journey the world together and eventually have his own family. Kakashi would say, oh, well, all right then, I hope you guys will meet me at training ground seven tomorrow morning. And I recommend you don't eat. As the um, as he eventually leaves, and Naruto does too. Eventually meeting up with Kakashi as they go to figure out what this problem is with the summoning contract. As they summon Pakun with him, as Naruto as Pakun then tells Naruto to do the reverse summoning technique, teaching him it. As he as he tells Kakashi to grab onto Naruto, Pakun grabs on, puts his paw on Naruto. Kakashi puts a, a hand on Naruto. 
Zenata performs the reverse summoning to to as he appears in a land. This be the land of dragons, where it's sub it's sub subjugated into many different lands. The land of the storms, a land of snow, a land of magma and fire, a land of forestry. And in the middle where they are is a giant castle. Each of these lands have a castle, but none as big as this one. This is then when a dragon would appear. Asking who exactly is he? And Naruto says his name is Naruto Uzumaki. But if he doesn't know him by that name, his name is Naruto Uchiha. He says, ah, oh, Uzumaki Naruto. I know you by that name. I'm so finally happy that you finally appear here. As Naruto then asks, what exactly is it that he, where exactly he is, and what type of animal is he? Here? As, I don't think, I did say a dragon appeared, but I don't, I'm going to have to where Naruto can't see him yet, even with the Sharingan. As eventually the dragon will show himself fully, as Naruto says, your dragon, those exist, as the dragon will say, yes, we do exist. As he would then reveal to Naruto that he wants Naruto to become, that he has seen Naruto's life. And with his ability, his ability of fire is unmatched, like, unlike any other human he's seen. So he wants Naruto to become the dragon summoner. He says it was either the dragons or the phoenixes that Naruto would have had a summoning contract with. Naruto then, said, then says that he would like to also summon the dog contract as his secondary contract. The dragon would think about it before then saying fine. But make sure when you eventually, eventually you come here to train with... Um, within the um, Dragon Realm to learn our Senjutsu. As Naruto would not, as the Dragon would then tell Naruto to go and familiar to travel throughout the lands to familiarize themselves with as many dragons as possible. I'm not gonna be coming up with dragon names. And Naruto says, but that could take weeks or even months at a time. As the Dragon will say, don't worry, time flows differently here. Let's say you were to be gone for ten years, you could be gone for well over. Um, let's say you should be in here for 10 years, you could be gone for well over three, maybe three years, most definitely. <clears throat> and there's a, um, there's a 3.33333% um, increase in time flow over here in this realm. So Naruto, and he would then tell Naruto, but the time that it should take him to be here, he can, um, it should take him not that long out in the real world. Eventually, Naruto, uh, he would then tell Naruto that he's been watching over him. So just to send, for them to all make shadow clones and to just send them into the many different lands. Naruto would send shadow clones into the many different lands. Where Naruto would go and meet with one of the storm or the fire, the magma and fire land dragons. Which have control over lava release, boar release, and well, in, well there's a substation where it's in the water kingdom also that. When both collide, there's what the, the boil release dragons are. But there's the lava release and the fire release. I'm going to scorch release dragons there. <clears throat> so eventually, Naruto would eventually meet all these dragons. with Shadow Clones would. And Naruto would leave with Paku. With Naruto now some having, summon, uh, having the dragon summoning contract with himself. With a tattoo, more or less. Who would then... Signed the dog summoning contract to be able to summon Popcorn Bull and the others. So eventually, Kakashi would be extremely happy, only for them to notice that it's, they only have a couple hours left within the day. So Kakashi would tell Naruto to meet him tomorrow at the training field. As Naruto and I before both would disappear, and we time skip to the next day. Once they appear, Naruto then says, So Kakashi sensei, what are we doing here? As Kakashi says, ah, oh, you caught up to my head, it's pretty good, Naruto. As Naruto says, I'm not going to be waiting on you for three hours. I told you that after we first met. Kakashi says, yeah, you did. Anyways, as Sasuke and Sakura say, oh, you're finally here. Sakura yells at Kakashi. As Sakura says, oh, he hello, Naruto. As Naruto says, hello, Sakura. As he gives her a smile before then leaving. Before walking away, more or less. Kakashi would then go on to explain the bell test and what they're doing. As um, he would then says, when I say go, you all leave. You have until noon or until this timer goes off to grab the bells. So once that's done, Naruto and um, uh, Kakashi would say start with the timer starting. So 
as Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura would disappear, but Naruto would completely disappear with Hikashi not being able to sense him. As he says, I've always hated this part of Naruto. Now, Naruto then grabs his sword from his hand. From it, uh, from Naruto, no, 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 Naruto then releases um, his sword from a seal on his hand as he grabs it. And, um, it's um, as he puts it on his side. I believe Naruto's. What is Naruto? Is he right or left handed? So you put the sword on his left side since Naruto is right handed. So, yes. Naruto would then be prepared as, as he sees this Kakashi takes on Sakura and, Nar and, and Sasuke fairly easily. But Sakura using what, what she knows of both adding chakra to her fists and into her limbs to fight. Similar to what Tsunade does but on a lesser scale. And what little Genjutsu she knows. Sasuke would try to fight Kakashi hand to hand, only to get his uh, only to get it hit, only to lose very easily. Naruto would then appear as he sees Sasuke on the ground as he then tells Sasuke, "Watch, this is how you fight a Joni." As Naruto rushes toward Kakashi, as Kakashi sees Naruto reaches for his sword, as Naruto looks Kakashi in his eyes, Kakashi not noticing Naruto's eyes are red, Kakashi not having his Sharingan uncovered. He would duck back, seeing as Naruto has swung his, his blade at him, only for Naruto to, um, uh, only for Kakashi to, you know, literally grab a kunai and shove it directly at Naruto, thinking that this was just a shadow clone, seeing that Naruto never missed. Only to see that this Naruto begins to bleed as he begins to go through shock, saying, "No, Naruto!" Only for Naruto says, "No, Naruto, what?" As Kakashi would turn around to see the Genjutsu breaking. So, Genjutsu, huh? Then Kashi says, I think I'll need this. As he jumps back as he then lifts up his headband, revealing his Sharingan. Naruto says, let's go. As Naruto, Kakashi and Naruto began running towards each other. Naruto saying, fire stop, fireball Jutsu. As he releases a white flame, a white flaming ball towards Kakashi. Again, his flames are white instead of the normal red, orange, or yellow. I can't remember which color flames are going to be. I'm quite stupid when it comes to that, but yeah. <clears throat> Naruto, um, Kakashi would dodge this, so, but the area around the flames were extremely high, so it somewhat burns up, uh, burns a piece of Kakashi's clothes off. This would so shock Sasuke as his flames were only orange and yellow, wanting Naruto to teach him this technique because Naruto doesn't even want to use it against the person who started their clan. And this is probably something Naruto learned from their own clan itself. So he thinks Naruto needs to give him this so he can kill Itachi. <clears throat> Anyways, so Naruto would then tell Kakashi that he wasn't done. As Kakashi would then rush towards Naruto before then disappearing, like literally looking like uh, looking at Naruto's eyes for a brief moment, only for it to see as Kakashi had literally jumped and dived within the ground as if it was a swimming pool. Naruto will wonder what's happening before then releasing the Genjutsu, but it's already too late. As Kakashi had grabbed Naruto's legs, he hadn't really died, he just used the, um, what was it called? The, um, Headhunter, Earth-style Headhunter Jutsu. I believe it was the Earth-style Headhunter Jutsu. As he would drag Naruto under the ground, only for Naruto to disappear in a proof of smoke. As Naruto says, hmm, take this, Kakashi. As Naruto has a blade on part of his head, only for Kakashi to notice that it's within that the blade, the literal blade of itself is covered in white flames. As Naruto brings his hand down, as Naruto then says, <clears throat> "Fire cutter" or something like that. I don't really know. I don't really think of a creative name. As the flames will run toward, I uh, would um, literally cut towards, cut through the air toward Kakashi. Kashi would barely be able to dodge this and say, wow, Naruto, that's pretty strong. As Naruto says, yeah, it is. As Kakashi is shocked to see Naruto behind him, as he's now paralyzed. As he's noticed that none of the damage from what they just did is there, as Naruto has two belts within his hand. As Naruto says, you lost Kakashi. As Kakashi says, wow, a double layer Genjutsu. You even made me think I put you in the Genjutsu. As Naruto says, of course I did. Naruto will then hand him to Sasuke and Sakura before then, um, before then saying that they passed. As Naruto explains the truth of the text, Kakashi says Naruto is right. 
Nimb then tell them to meet him tomorrow for their first mission. And after going on their first mission, we're going to time skip to like about a month later. <clears throat> Eventually, not, they would um walk into the office when I told them to say, "Look, listen here, oh man, I'm not doing another one of these DO missions. I want a C rank mission, and you're gonna give it to me now." Naruto flares his shine gun. Jujin looks at him, a little bit intimidated. Naruto is always intimidated he in as he's always had a darker side. <clears throat> so. Anyway, I'm my bad. Anyways, um, let me see. Oh, yes, he was in with then say, um, call in the bridge builder. As they would eventually meet a bridge builder by the name of Kaiza. Antazana. <laughs> Kaiza Antazana. I know you all say Kaiza. Kaiza's not a bridge builder. He's a fisher. He's a fisherman. That is true. But for this project, no, actually, no. I think Kaiser does need to die. So Kaiser's going to be dead. We're just going to have it be Tazuna. I was going to do something different, have Kaiser be alive, and then have it be Tsunami, the one that died. Maybe, but no. I'm going to have it be Kaiser still. So, <clears throat> um, if, um, what is his name? Tazuna would come in where he would then say, so these are the kids you're assigning, the ninjas you're assigning to me. I can really only take two, one of them seriously, and it's the kid with the black hair. So I was going to say, <laughs> he's smirking, he says, no, not you, Emo, I'm talking about him. That's not until smiles. I'm glad you can see that. That's because he's, he was like, wait, what about me? He says, you're a Cyclops, I can never take a Cyclops serious. Because he's a little disappointed by this, but, you know, not nonetheless. As Tazana says, well, I'm a super important master bridge builder. You're gonna protect me from all the um all the bandits that we come across. As the team nods, he says, "Now, when do we leave?" As Hikashi says, "Right this moment." As his team that leaves um leaves with Tazuna, leaving the village, they would eventually leave. Going to I know I said leave a lot, and I just said it again. They would eventually exit the village, but they would go on their way to wave, and on their way they would pass a puddle. Naruto would then, uh, well, he wouldn't be, they would be walking up on the puddles. Naruto would then show Sakura his blade. And Sakura would be amazed at this. Naruto says he can also channel elements through it. And Sasuke finally recognizing this blade saying that, hey, that's a blade of the Uchiha clan and Naruto needs to return to him now. Naruto says it was actually given to him. So Naruto would then point. But, um, when they would walk up to the portals, Naruto would eventually drop it as he would then say, wow, I need a break. As eventually blood would begin to spew from this portal as it drops to reveal Naruto had just stabbed two people directly through the backs, through the gut. As Naruto says, you guys are real idiots to think that a portal in the middle of the day could hide from me. Again, due to it hasn't rained in days. It's quite stupid and it's really hot and in the middle of summer. As Naruto would then look at Tazuna before saying, Now the truth or the same happens to you. Tazuna says, Oh, right. <clears throat> Tazuna then revealed to them about Gato, saying that Gato was attacked, has taken over his village. But because he's one of the wealthiest men, they can't really do much. And the bridge is the only way that they can escape Gato's war through a tirade. Naruto would say, Fine, I'll go. As Naruto looks at Kakashi's. Giving him the signal saying, like, yo, if you don't go, I'm still going to go. Sasuke would say he'll go just, just because he wants to outdo Naruto. Eventually, Sakura would then agree. Naruto would tell Sakura that he vows to protect her. And she's one of his close, his dear friends. Sakura will smile. Shikashi says, fine, we can go. Knowing that him and Naruto are well, are well strong, very strong, with Naruto being even stronger than himself, while he's still the Naruto's master, while Naruto still sees him as his master, Kakashi doesn't really have much to teach Naruto, much left to teach Naruto. They would continue on their way, and once they would cross the um, the water with the boat and everything, they would go on land where they would come across the forest. Naruto and Kakashi would then hear something as they say duck, as they, everyone ducks, as Naruto uses the Genjutsu. 
uses his shining, activates his shining gun. As he follows, he sees what this weapon is being, the Kiwi Kiwi Bojo. As Naruto um, jumps up after the blade comes past him with his blade in his hand, as he then um, positions himself to where he stabs his blade through the circle within the blade, within within the QB the executioner's blade, as Naruto lands on the ground. Saying so, Shabuza Momochi, what are you doing here? Naruto then scans the area for any other track of sources before finding another one, a hunter named. As Naruto would then look at Zabuza, Zabuza would then say, Hmm, give me my sword. Naruto says, You'll have to kill me first. As Zabuza rushed towards Naruto with the kunai in hand, only for Kakashi to get in his way. But Zabuza would kick Kakashi away. As Zabuza would grab his blade, hand, um, blade looking, knowing, seeing that Naruto had the strong guy, he didn't look at his eyes too long. But he had looked at his blade, only to see Naruto's reflection in it. As Naruto says, Got you. As Zabuza begins to fight Naruto, not knowing that he's now in a genjutsu. Naruto, um, Zabuza eventually begins to fight Naruto, with both of them clashing blades. As Naruto then, um, tries to grab, to, uh, swing down on Zabuza, only for Zabuza to stick his blade directly through his stomach. Him got the other end. As Naruto would look at the blade, she would then smirk before saying, Got you. As Naruto disappears with the name Murder of Crows, similar to what Itachi does, it shocks Sasuke as he only seen Itachi and Shisui perform his jutsu. And there's no way Naruto was trained by Shisui, so he had to have been trained by Itachi. As Naruto um, then appears behind a ninja, leaving a shadow clone that he had unknown, that to unknown to everyone he had made. As the shadow clone appears behind Zabuza and says, Now, as he then gets his blade and sticks it through Zabuza, lifting him up with bare physical strength. As Zabuza slides down the rest of his blade, Zabuza then drops him, cleaning his blade off. As he says, Survive that. As Naruto, the clone disappears, shocking the hunting in. As she's beginning to release a gun godly amount of killing, it. the most killing it to since from someone outside of Konoha. Which being technically it's his first time outside of Kamaha, so it's not that well. It's not that good, big anyway. Naruto, um, Naruto would appear next to the person as Naruto would then says hello. As the person would say, You killed Sabuza. As he as the person then taps their foot before the on the on the ground. He says water dragon jutsu as the dragon from the lake nearby. The water from the, the lake, lake nearby would then um Form a dragon. She then performs another another hand sword sword saying, Hi, ice release. I'm not Hyaten release or Hyaten. There's more than ice release. Ice dragon jutsu. Naruto says, Ice release, huh? Take this. As Naruto says, um, What did I say? Fire's ending? Or, I believe, I'm not sure. Naruto's blade would engulf. As Naruto would then say, say Flame circle as his sword would then form or flame side. This is sword. The flames on his sword would then shape into a scythe. As Naruto would then swing it down as the scythe then shoots off like a, a curved energy shockwave or a curved cut of flames. Like, you know, like when they do cuts and you like you can see the cut traveling through the air until they cut the object, basically that, but just fire. More or less what that technique does. As Haku, um, Naruto's fire would eventually slice through Haku, um, the person in Ice Dragon. We know this is Haku. As Naruto would then say, take me seriously. As Naruto then slices the person's mask off, revealing a very beautiful face. But Naruto's like, yeah, yeah, no. As Naruto then literally grabs the end of his sword before slamming it into it, no, the person's nose, breaking it. As he would then, um, before, as he would then, the person would then jump back before performing another set of hand signs saying, Ice release, Blizzard Storm, um, Blizzard Storm? I don't know, I believe those are the same thing, but Blizzard Storm. It's not the same thing, but you know what I mean. As a Blizzard would begin to form, as Kakashi then glanced next to Naruto says, Do you need some help? As Naruto says, Yeah. Naruto says, You got the fire? Kakashi says, Yeah. As Naruto says, Good, I got the wind. As Naruto then says, Wind style. Wind Dragon, as Kakashi then says, Fire Style, Fire Dragon Jutsu. 
a fire dragon bullet. As both jutsus combined to form a, gig a gigantic flaming dragon, like a full dragon, as it formed and began to rush toward Haku. With Naruto and Kakashi using their, their Sharingan to see through the blizzard, even though it's really hard, Naruto's Sharingan is a lot more progressed than Kakashi, especially since he has a Mangekyo. As Naruto then, um, then tells Kakashi that he got this. <clears throat> As Naruto then begins to, um, begins to run towards Haku. As Naruto then begins to go through hand signs. As his arm, his right arm begins to envelop in flames, the white, same white flames. As Haku then uses the blizzard and then says blizzard wall. She uses ice release blizzard wall as it performs a wall to counteract the fire. But it barely counteracts it. It, ba it, it barely manages to dissipate the fire, only for Naruto to appear. As Naruto then slams his hand directly on Haku's head, but his hand is so hot that it literally his head goes through Haku like a hot knife through butter, directly down the middle. As Naruto watches as Haku dies, as Haku eventually Haku Naruto says hello there, as Haku's eyes open once more, only to notice that Naruto had placed her in again Jutsu. The moment that Haku, Naruto had made um, contact with Haku. Which would be with his hands on fire. He had literally just um, more or less um, what he had done. What had he? What did I want him to do? He more or less just put her on again jutsu. As Naruto would then appear by Haku, before then cutting off one of Haku's hands with his with his fire, thinking that he had handicapped her. Haku would then begin to show the expertise of using one-handed hand signs. So Naruto begins to mimic these, learning the one-handed hand signs and learning which chakra natures they mold as they each demonstrate the chakra nature. As Haku then says, ice release, demonic ice mirror. I believe it's demonic crimson ice. Demonic, what, what is it called? Demonic. Okay, I was thinking of a different, it's called demonic mirroring ice crystals, but in the dub version, which is what I called it. Which is what it's called, um, which is what I watched originally when I first watched this argument was dub. But it's called the Secret Jutsu Crystal Ice Mirrors. I had to look it up to make sure I was saying the right Jutsu. And I had to make sure I was saying the right name for it. You want to be, you know, a little bit shamed by it. Anyways, Naruto would then <clears throat> say, would then say, huh, ice, condensed ice, huh? Pretty strong, but not strong enough. As Naruto's hands still on fire, Naruto would then grab Haku. Haku then says, no, as how did you, as Naruto says, you're nowhere near fast enough to escape my eyes. As Naruto then begins to um, use all the fires, he condenses it to the palm of his hand before then letting it go on Haku, causing Haku to be burnt up by white flames, eventually dying, actually dying this time, no genjutsu. Or is it? I'm just kidding, it's not a genjutsu. Anyways, Naruto would then... Tell Kakashi that it's now over. So Kakashi says, Naruto, why didn't you end her when you had her in against you two so just cutting off one of her hands? And Naruto says he just wanted to see how far she could go and what techniques she could use she could use. As Kakashi says, I guess. Naruto says, You do know I have both a water and a wind wind chakra nature, right? I can mimic these to an extent, except for the demonic crystal ice mirror. I think those more or less require a full kick again, Kai. Oh, okay. As Naruto appears right next to Zabuza, Zabuza says, Haku, where is Haku? As Naruto says, oh, your little hunter, and he's dead. He's dead. Haku is a he still. I forgot about that. Haku is, he's dead. Which was hot, Zabuza. As Zabuza would then stand up, shaking on his legs. As his demon aura then comes out. Using one final attack, Zabuza would then run towards Naruto. With his sword in hand. Only for Naruto, only for Kakashi to appear right alongside Naruto. As Kakashi swings, um, as Kakashi swings his kunai, Naruto swings his sword, cutting Zabuza. Eventually killing him. Zabuza not even being able to swing his own blade. Naruto then lands next to Tazen and him and then says, Now let's go. 
as Kakashi burns the bodies as they both leave. As Kakashi says, good job, Naruto. So Sakura then asks Kakashi, is he going to teach them that? As Kakashi says, sorry, Sakura, but Naruto actually was taught by this, taught this, this by the Uchiha clan. A lot of those jutsus he learned by himself or created. He didn't really teach Naruto a lot of things. He taught him a lot more about the inner workings of the Sharingan, but that's more or less it. And some Jutsus. Sasuke then asked to Naruto that he wants him to teach him this white fire Jutsu. That obviously it's some Jutsu that the Uchiha clan has, so he wants him to teach it so that his, he can, his flames could be hotter. Hard enough to kill Itachi. Naruto then says, look Sasuke, I hate you, I hate your stupid clan. Leave me alone. I won't give you anything of mine. Which is shock Sasuke and Sakura. Sakura says, Naruto, Naruto says, no, Sakura. His clan has done enough to me. That's why I don't go by the Uchiha clan. They took away everything. They took away my, they took away the life that I could have had. From what Tokage said, it could have been worse. But it would have been better than being tortured every day to become a weapon of the clan. I didn't want that. I would have rather been seen as a demon or a um, as a nuisance than being someone's weapon. Inside, a voice would be um, a voice, a person, someone, something would open his eyes, saying, "Hmm, you seem to find you two has finally seemed to come. You have finally seemed to find someone good to finally end the cycle, huh?" Ashura. As the eyes close again, once more. Never to open for a couple of months. I'm just kidding, for like a couple of weeks or so. Maybe like a week or it's for some time. Until I next establish this this thing. But you know what it is. If you know if you watch Naruto, you know exactly what this is. So yeah. <clears throat> Naruto would uh and then we'll continue on the trip in silent. That was an eventually asking Kakashi was it too about the what Sasuke's clan had done to Naruto. He says yes. He says the Uchiha clan had had them when um the Sentai when the Hokage had revealed to everyone Naruto's mother was in Uchiha or who Naruto's mother's name was everyone who was in Uchiha or had Uchiha DNA and the Uchiha clan had demanded Naruto because Naruto's other clan the Uzumaki clan was no longer alive. Naruto's the last remaining member of three clans actually, but I won't reveal the third clan. Tazuna says, well, the boy must be royalty. How could they let this go? And she's, as Kakashi says, it was a clan matter, and here's in, in the Hokage couldn't much let's do anything. And the Hokage tried to evict the boy, the Uchiha clan would just turn him away. Even if he said it was orders of the Hokage, the, the Uchiha clan would not even let, them, let him see Naruto. I wasn't even allowed to see Naruto. And I was his sense, and his his father was my sensei. He was honestly shocked, Tazuna, asking, "How can a clan of Konoha be so terrible?" Which would utterly anger Sasuke. His clan wasn't terrible; they were good people in his own eyes. But I guess other people don't see that, which would anger him even more. Anyways, moving on. I would eventually land in the land of waves. But Kakashi and them would go um go through it with the normal time skip with them with Kakashi teaching Sasuke and Sakura tree walking, seeing as how they don't know that yet. Sasuke and Sakura would be um, Sakura would be a little bit stronger than her. Um she would be like maybe like two years into the three year time skip or something like that, or maybe a year where she was so much getting stronger. She would be like at that strength, while Sasuke would be at his getting level strength. No, like like getting Sasuke from canon. That's how strong Sasuke is. While Sakura, Sasuke is still stronger than Sas Sakura, he's not stronger than Naruto. <clears throat> Eventually, Naruto would land, um, and then would go throughout the week of the bridge n with only a few incidents being the incident with Inari and then Naruto saving um well and then that's more or less the really more one of the only incidents that had happened during during their week stay there so this is where we time get to the day that the, 
to, they will all be at the bridge of the day Zabuza was supposed to be there. Um, Naruto would actually wake up a little bit later. As um, Kakashi Sakura, Sasuke would head to the bridge. As Naruto only wakes up only to hear screaming coming from downstairs, telling, to hear someone screaming, don't hurt my son. As Naruto goes downstairs with his blade, Naruto, um, Naruto sees two men. As he angers them, grabbing Tsunade, um, not Tsunade, Tsunami, and trying to take her away. As both one of the men then drops that drops down with a blade right through his chest. The other man looks to see Naruto. Naruto delivers a kick that literally breaks the man's neck. That's how hard he kicked this man. The thing is, these are just like mercenaries. They're not strong ninjas. Like God, they're not ninjas. They're more well. They might probably have like basic ninja training. But their bodies aren't as strong as normal other ninjas, so they wouldn't be able to take that kick like that. Most Genin wouldn't be able to take that kick anyway. Naruto then asks Tsunami if she's alright. Tsunami would not. It's Naruto then insists that for her to stay here with his clone. Naruto would make a shadow clone. It's Naruto would then tell Naruto to protect his mother. And not to let anything happen. And if any he sees anyone else coming to alert his clone of it. As Inari would not. A little bit inspired by Naruto. Naruto had faced down Gonzo's members without a care in the world of the consequences. So eventually, Naruto would head to the bridge where he sees Kakashi and them facing off against Gonzo's men. Naruto would then appear saying, Really, Kakashi, you're letting these two handle them? It's a lot of people for just two people. Kakashi says, Well, I was just going to see how far they could get before you eventually woke up. He says, what if I didn't wake up today? Kakashi says, oh, I knew you'd wake up. No, it's a sense. Yeah, you're right. As Naruto then tells Kakashi, well, why don't we take them out? As Kakashi says, you're right. Let's, let's. As Kakashi then appears behind, um, behind Sasuke and Sakura, as he begins fighting with Gato's men, as Naruto appears in front of Gato, it says, Gato. Me and you have some business to take care of. It's not so grass got to before disappearing into the uh before then um pushing him off the edge of the bridge before the two of them fall into the water. Only for Naruto to have performed a last minute body flicker for them to appear in the town center. As Naruto with this says, People will wave. I have brought your tormentor to you. Will you to decide his fate? As Naruto um, Naruto would then make a seal of Shadow Clone. As the Shadow Clone would then begin to make hand signs with Naruto. It's one, it's one free hand for Naruto. As Naruto would then have a lightning form in his hand. As the people away would gather around to see Gato. As Naruto says, he could die by my hand, or he can die by yours. But I cripple enough so he can't run away. Choose. As the and people away then begin to gather weapons. Along with Naruto, he's Finally comes to the village, finally about to warn the people to go to the bridge, but no, Naruto had already appeared in the middle of the uh, city with Gato. As the people then say, kill him. As Naruto then says, your fate has been decided, Gato. You shall die by my hand. As Naruto then shows Echidori, not through Gato's heart. But through his head, through his head, and he had done it slowly too. But it was a slow but powerful one. He, Naruto had slowly put his hand towards Gato's head, shoving it, using chakra to augment his strength, where he could just push his hand through Gato's skull, cutting his eyes with the lightning. Then his brain, pieces of his brain at once, until he finally sticks his head all the way through. This was very uh, evilish of Naruto, but you know. But you guys all have a dark side and somewhat do evil things sometimes. Some some of them a lot of the time. Eventually Gato and his um Gato would um Gato's body would drop to the ground, missing part of his head. Well a circle a hole he had with having a hole in his head. <clears throat> As the people away with their men to celebrate. Many are extremely happy that Gato's reign of terror is finally over. As on the bridge, Kakashi, Sakura, and Sasuke have finally finished up the, off all of Gato's men. 
and starts getting mad towards Gato. As Kakashi says, he has the feeling that Naruto is already taking care of him. Suzuki says, oh man, I really want to be there to see this. Three times skip to weeks later after the bridge is finished. It seems that everyone eventually began to leave. As Tazuna then says, hmm, what should we name the bridge? As Naruto comes up with the idea, what about the great Naruto bridge? Tazuna says, I, look, I quite like that name. It's they name it the great Naruto bridge. This is going to go into like, it's going to be a three hour movie. I've only I've done a full G2 guy in Naruto for like two two moments, three hours. Wow. Anyway, that's not the point. <clears throat> I spent like 20 minutes on this arc alone. There's like what? There's the tuning exams, the invasion, the um after the invasion at least. But well, there's the one month training before the invasion, and then there's the invasion. And then there's the tsunami retrieval. Fight with Itachi and Kisame, and then the Sasuke retrieval mission. I'll finish recording that later. Or right, just like a couple seconds later since I stopped recording. I'm not gonna lie. I was just more or less pointing out what I had to do. I'm sorry if I spoiled it a little bit. There's uh, some arts that will still be there. I'm not sure which how many. <clears throat> so eventually they would head back to Konoha and Bread. Here is them and then congratulate them. Before then telling Team 7 that they are eligible for the tuning exams that are happening in a couple of weeks to prepare for them. As Hirozen gives them papers, as Kakashi had already wanted to nom nom told Hirozen that he was nominating them this year because he wants Naruto to go on as fast, um, to go through the ranks as fast as possible. So, um, for the we would time skip two weeks to the start of the tuning exam. There will be no incident where they will meet Gara. Naruto isn't at, isn't really friends with Konohama, so they're well, not yet. At least, so Naruto wouldn't meet him. I don't. I'm not sure what I had him doing part two with Naruto with uh, Konohamaru. But yes, Naruto would not meet Konohamaru yet. He has not yet met Konohamaru, so Konohamaru doesn't appear with Naruto. And there's no incident with that. Eventually, they would all head towards the um, academy. But Sasuke, Sakura, and Naruto would head towards the academy where they would go across. Come across the second floor. Naruto immediately noticing that this would get due to because he counted how many flights of stairs they went up. Naruto would then send to Sakura to just follow him. But before Sasuke could do anything, Naruto would cover his mouth before dragging him away as if he was assassinating him. But Naruto was very tempted to do so. Sasuke eventually they would leave and Sasuke is saying, what is it that he did that for? It's not so serious. You're, there's a whole point of them hiding that that was the second floor. It was to weed out the weaklings, and you were do you adding more, con adding more people to the contest is extremely stupid and not thinking like a chimney. As eventually they would head up to the level where they would then be Kakashi, be met by Kakashi. He says, "Good, draw three here." He says, huh? As Naruto, so then oh, well, two of them say, "Huh?" Naruto says, it, "The two ninjas can can only be taken in a three-man team, and if one of us hadn't shown up, the other two would not be allowed to take it." Which would shock the um the, uh, his team teammates. As Kakashi says, "Well then, go on in." As they do, Naruto and them are approached by the Kona, the rookie nine, and eventually approached by Neji and Rock Lee. With Rock Lee and Neji both wanting to challenge Naruto, not really seeing any interest in Sasuke really, because Naruto is obviously the much stronger Uchiha, who who has the stronger guy too. Sasuke doesn't yet have that. Well, he has it unlocked, but he has not yet been able to access it. Anyways, that's not the point. Um, once me, uh, once Neji and Rock Lee gets over with their challenge and Naruto, they um, Kabuto would eventually walk up to Naruto and them. Naruto then says, "Look, we're good." As Kabuto says, "But as Naruto says, we're good. We'll be as loud as we want." It says unless anyone here has a problem with it. With the shining gun activated, it's ready. As everyone sees a visage of literal death behind him, even Shikaku and Gara, as Shikaku says, Gara, stay away from him. Stay away from his team. If you encounter him, try to kill him. But if he leaves you no other option, try to kill him. But run away as soon as you can. Run away at the first chance you get. Do not face him head on. You, you know what I'm trying to convey. So, 
<clears throat> eventually, Ibiki would show up and they would start the test. Now, we're going to time skip through this because the test isn't really that important. Well, yes, yeah, a lot of teams, well, there's a lot less teams that pass than normal. So, in there would be the teams that, that will pass would actually be the teams that will go on to do the preliminaries. So, those are the only teams there being Sos Team 7, Team 8, Team Guy, Team 10, then Carpetos team, the team from Sand, the team from Sound. I believe there's another team, if I'm not mistaken. But yes, those will be the only uh, team 8, team 7, team Guy, team 10. Then team Sand, team Sound, Carpetos team. Yeah, that's seven teams, or eight, seven or eight. I, I literally lost count while counting it out. I'm sorry. Anyways. They will be the only teams left. And Anko will be extremely sad because she can't do her variation of her test. So they do a preliminary version of the test. But they will all fight in the force of death. Fight like in the preliminary, in the tower in the force of death. To find out who will be moving on to the finals. And with this more or less, I'm going to actually have them draw the same people as canon. It would be Naruto versus Kiba. With Naruto easily winning this. And it will be Gar versus Lee. Gar wins this. A very hard fought battle by Lee, but Gara does come out victorious. Neji versus Hinata still happens the same. So Naruto actually does not let Neji go as far as he does. He actually stops Neji before he critically wounds Hinata. So Hinata isn't as injured. It'll take her a couple of weeks to heal up, but you know she won't be fatally injured or critically injured like she was or severely. That's the that's the word I was looking for. Severely. Um, Sakura versus you know. I'm actually going to have, uh, yeah, I'm still going to have it tie out with both of them being equal in strength here. Still fighting before for both Sasuke and Naruto's affection. Shikamaru versus Ken. Shikamaru does win. Dosu versus Toji. Dosu wins. Kaputo still forfeits. And then Sasuke versus Joy. Oh, uh, Joy. Or who? Sas Kaputo's teammate. Sasuke wins. Ooh, and then this Ten Ten versus Tamari. Tamari wins. Kakuro versus um, who did Kakuro fight? He forgot he fought Kabuto's other teammate. So Kakuro wins. Shino versus I believe Zaku's. Shino would win. I believe that would set up the finals. Almost done. Everyone would find out who they would be facing. It would be Neji versus Gara. Um, Shino versus Kakuro. Tamari versus Shikamaru. And Naruto versus Sasuke. That's gonna be the finals. And now you guys said, so what about our tomorrow? We'll get into that shortly. Eventually, they would all leave after fighting these matches, and Sasuke would head throughout the force of death, not keeping up. But he would eventually be approached by Orochimaru, who would offer him power. As in Sasuke, he said he would offer Sasuke power for his body. He could help him kill his brother Itachi. Sasuke says and destroy Naruto. As Orochimaru says, sure, whatever. As Sasuke says, then he accepts. As Sasuke eventually uh, lets Orochimaru give him the curse mark. Orochimaru um, lets Sasuke drop before Kabuto would appear and take Sasuke to his um to the compound to the Uchiha compound where he was into his room. Now eventually Orochimaru would approach Naruto. As Orochimaru, knowing Naruto is a lot less willing, he would actually bite Naruto on his neck. Naruto will not actually see this coming. Orochimaru is a signing still, and Naruto is not yet on that level. Now, Orochimaru isn't really hiding his strength like he was in the Force of Death. So, Orochimaru will bite Naruto, but, um, and once he does, he will leave, telling Naruto to use his gift, um, pop, use his gift and to come seek him out once he desires more power. But in the meantime, Naruto will be pulled into his mindscape where he will be being met by the Kai. Kaiyubi says, hey, boy. And Naruto will look and says, so you're the Kaiyubi, huh? It's nice to meet you. I'm Naruto. He says, I know who you are. I literally live as I choose. Naruto says, right. <laughs> as Naruto says, what is it that you need? He says, he placed that curse mark on you. I can destroy it, but it can also give you power. Would you take that power? And Naruto says, yes, any power I can use. But I won't let it go to my head. I see... I've um, heard what it, it, Kakashi's friend Anko says it does. Destroy those part of the seals. And don't let Orochimaru reincarnate within my body. 
Just give me the part, portion where it offers me more power. Scrum says, sure. Or as the QB says, sure. He destroys that with the help of Naruto. The QB says, and there's a second stage. Naruto would then ask, what is it exactly? The QB would, act, would push the curse seal to where it would eventually activate this. As Naruto, who is now in the, in, at his own house, or at his um in his apartment, would then begin to grow wings and a tail, and a sn and not a snout. He would um yeah he would grow wings and a tail. But unlike um Sasuke's, his wings are made of literal fire, and his tail is too. And then Naruto's hand will be hands will be hands and feet will be claws, dragon claws. Naruto is like a human a dragon human hybrid, like similar to Kaido. Except Naruto actually has wings. Kaido's dragon sucks. He doesn't have wings. Very, he's just a very large snake at this point. Anyways, <laughs> this is just a joke. Anyways, but yes, that's what Naruto would have. Naruto says, cool. As Naruto would then thank the kid before he's saying, oh, before I forget, what's your name? I would love to be friends with you, kid. As you would be shocked and says, I don't give my names to any humans just because they ask. You have to prove that to me. Naruto says, oh, I'll prove it to you one day. Oh, you have to prove that you just deserve it. Naruto says, oh, I will. As Naruto leaves and eventually begins training by Kakashi for the finals, but Kakashi eventually tells Naruto that he has to cut Naruto's training short because um, Sasuke is forced, uh, Sasuke went to the uh, Hokage about him playing favorites with Naruto, even though that's really not the case. Kakashi spends a lot more time training Sasuke and Sakura than he does Naruto because Naruto is leagues ahead of him. Sasuke would then, Kakashi would then tell Naruto that um, his godfather is here to train him. Naruto says, Godfather, how come I've never met him? As Kakashi says, Well, he was out of the village when the um, when the Kibi attacked, and because when he was out, the Uchiha clan had taken his came on you. When he tried to come and get you, you can take care of you, it was already too late. He couldn't just take you from the Uchiha clan, whether he was your godfather or not. It was a whole thing. As, not, as a man would then drop down, revealing himself to be Jiraiya, Jiraiya the Sami. And Naruto says, oh, it's just Jiraiya, the legendary Sami, is my own godfather. It was very nice to meet you, Jiraiya. I'm Naruto Zumaki. What you do know? This I do. He says, let's get the training. As Jiraiya would eventually ask Naruto, how, how, what chakra control exercises do he do? Naruto says he can do water walking and tree walk climbing already. He said, well, I was going to teach you water walking first, but okay. Well, how about I teach you the summoning technique? As he brings out his summoning scrolls, Naruto reveals that he already has two, and the Dragon Ball only allow him to have two being theirs, and his minor contract being Kakashi, saying that he's Kakashi, Kakashi is his master. Jiraiya was so saying, oh. Naruto would then tell Jiraiya, let me guess, you were looking for someone to pass on the way of the toad to, weren't you? As Jiraiya would say, yeah. But Spencer says he'll look around the village, but he has some ideas of who this could be. As Jiraiya would thank Naruto. Before then telling Naruto he's going to teach him a jutsu that the fourth Okage had created. Being the Rasengan. And for the month, Naruto will begin to teach, for the rest of that month, Naruto will begin learning the Rasengan. So we tie to the end of that month. As Naruto then says Jiraiya, he's found someone to sign the toe contract. It's Jiraiya will now clue. As Naruto will then bring out a kid from his side. As Naruto says, Jiraiya, Ikonohamaru. Ikonohamaru says, yo, you must be the boss of Sensei. As Jiraiya says, how did you to me? As Naruto says, well, I literally, he literally ran in on a meeting that I had with the Hokage like a couple of days ago. Well, like a week or two ago, actually. And, um, you know, he sort of tripped. And Konohama says, oh, come on, boss, don't say that. And Naruto says, he tripped and blamed me. But I eventually began to teach him. I see this kid has potential. He could also be a dual contract builder with the Toads as a, as a major and, a, and the Monkeys as a minor. Being cool as grandfather is. He then said, so this is little Konohama. Wow, have I seen you since you were a little child? Since you were a little kid, huh? Oh, I know you. You're my grandpa's student. As 
Jorah with the Nerds, Conor Hammer would he like to be his apprentice? So he signed the total contract. It's Conor Hammer, not until we get into Conor Hammer with that. If he does this, he can also ask the Toes to sign the monkey contract so he could be just like his grandfather. And then Jirai can make him a possible Hokage in the future. The Hokage in the, can help him become the Hokage in the future. Rather than him training with Ebisu, telling him about shortcuts to become a Hokage. As Konohamu says, sure, he, he would love to. As um, Jirai eventually lets Konohamu sign the summoning contract, tells Konohamu that he'll begin training him as soon as the training is are over. And he says, why don't you come watch with me? Konohamu says, sure, but I have school, which I don't want to go now. I got a sensei, a proper sensei. As Jirai and Naruto and Konohamu all had to be training his exams with Naruto appearing. Is now actually into their final match. They are finally calling for Naruto and Sasuke. Sasuke appears in a little, uh, fire, um, little, um, literal, literal leaf tornado, which is just leaf body flicker. But Naruto literally appears from a flame tornado that literally seemingly came from nowhere. They came from the ground and built up until Naruto appeared. As Naruto says, let's just get this over with. I have enough. I don't have enough time to waste on weaklings. As Kakashi would then look at Sasuke before giving him a stern look and says, "Do not use that jutsu. You weren't even supposed to have it in the first place." As Kakashi then walks in, also before telling Naruto that that Sasuke had copied the Chidori against his own will. Apparently, he had awakened his Sharingan. Kakashi was training by himself on the Chidori, or and he had copied it. And now says, I'll teach him some manners. As Sasuke would eventually, the um, match would eventually start, as Sasuke would rush towards Naruto, but Naruto would begin playing around with Sasuke, putting him in mini genjutsus. Every time Sasuke thought he would land a hit on Naruto, it would disappear, fizzle into the air, showing him that it was just a genjutsu. Eventually, Sasuke would activate a Sharingan to see if he that could help, but it really couldn't. Naruto's use of the Shangar is a lot better than Sasuke's. He's a pure Uchiha, just, well, he's an Uchiha just like him, born with the Shangar. Unlike Kakashi, who wasn't, so even he can see, while well, he can somewhat see through Kakashi get juice with the Shangar, he can't really see through Naruto's that well. I said somewhat, never said all the way. He can't see through Naruto's at all, actually. Naruto would then tell Sasuke, look, look, I'm going to tell you this now. If I take you seriously, I'll kill you. I really hate you and I'm really love to kill you. And I can kill you in this match. So, what do you want to give up or not? Because, I mean, <laughs> I'm cool either way. This was Sok Sakura and, you know, saying, is he really going to kill Sasuke? Sakura then tells, you know, that Naruto actually harbors hatred towards the Uchiha clan and Sasuke for what his clan did to him. You know, begins asking what it was, but Sakura says it's not her quest to tell her that. What exactly the UTI clan did to Naruto. Konohamu says, wow, boss is so cool. He hasn't even moved out of his spot. He's just been, what? What has he been doing? As Dry says, he's just been placing Sakura and bringing Jutsus. He's watching Sasuke and Sasuke's chakra reserves while he does that. Sasuke says, take me serious. As he runs towards Naruto, now holding a sword in his hand. As Sasuke comes down on Naruto, as Naruto just brings up his hand, as he bats away Sasuke's sword before delivering a strike to his chest, saying, Sasuke, you're not strong enough to make me draw my sword. None of the people who we fought with the Sasuke Kashi were strong enough to make me draw my sword. What makes you think you are? As he says, because I'm an Uchiha. As he runs towards Naruto before trying to sweep him off his feet with the kick, only for Naruto to, like, Sasuke's on the ground. Low with his feet out, outstretched trying to sweep Naruto, only for Naruto to jump up and kick him in his head, causing Sasuke to have be kicked in the front of his head and hit the back of his head on the ground. As Naruto would land before stomping on Sasuke's gut, causing Sasuke to spit up a little bit of blood. As Naruto looks into the crowd before seeing a pair of Sharingan look back at him, as Naruto looks into the Sharingan's eyes with his own, conveying a message. He deserves this what he's done. As Naruto begins to show Itachi what his brother's been like throughout the years. Yes, the president of stands is now Itachi, who's coming to watch the faded battle between the two Chiyas. Wanting to see how it was between these two. 
Dante K eventually gets up. He then says, Fire style, fireball jutsu. I see jutsu fireball and Naruto. I was for Naruto, then says, Ice ice release. Blizzard storm. As a blizzard, as Naruto will begin to mix water uh, from the air and wind together, forming the blizzard. As it begins to blind Sasuke and everyone in the stands. The only people being able to see through are the Hyuga clan and Itachi and Kakashi. Sasuke Shine is extremely weak, so he not he's not really able to see through this. Naruto knew that, so that's why it's, that's why it's a lot easier for them to see through it. <clears throat> As Naruto then says, "Take out, take it, check out this Jutsu, Sasuke." Ice release. Um. <clears throat> um. What is what is it called? Ice, I want to do ice release, ice circle, something. Hold up, let me think of a name. We're just gonna call it icicle spawn, um, icicle um blast or something. But Naruto begins to act um the ice release chakra to his feet as the snow from the blizzard on the ground. Naruto will begin stomping his feet as ice um sickles begin spawning from the ground, going towards Sasuke. Sasuke is constantly dodging. As Naruto smirks, as Naruto then says, "Ice spice kick." Ice spike kit, not spice. Ice spikes kit. As a bunch of icicles form on his on his shinob, the bottom of his shinobi sandals, as he then kicks Sasuke, breaking the icicles within Sasuke's body. Sasuke being called from go blood. It's not just says I win before knocking Sasuke out. Eventually, we move on throughout the rankings. Now, Gara versus um. I don't think I'll see Conqueror fighting Gara, so it'll be Gara versus um, it'll be then Conqueror will give up as soon as he realizes he has to fight Gara. And then it'll be um Tamari versus Naruto. And then uh, honestly Tamari's not winning this. Her 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 um what is it called? Her water ninjutsu isn't um her wind ninjutsu isn't strong enough to combat Naruto's fire ninjutsu. Why a stronger element than fire? Her wind ninjutsu isn't at that level. At all. If anything, it'll just combine and anything. Oh no, no, it's the fire that's coming in the wind. Actually, I had the whole mix, the whole lot mixed up. So yes, yeah, you wouldn't actually be able to combat Naruto at all. Anyways, Naruto would eventually move on to fight Gara, and this would be a spectacle. Naruto would toy with Gara through the entire match, which Gara running away a lot because Shikaku does not want Gara to fight him. And Naruto eventually will land a Chidori strike within Gara. With a guy asking um asking Kakashi why did he teach Naruto that technique? Because Kakashi will reveal that he taught Naruto that technique years ago. Due to his harsh training with the Uchiha clan, Naruto is well prepared to use this technique. It's an assassination technique. As a guy asks him what about the risk, he says there were no risks when it comes to Naruto. But he then looks at and says, But Sasuke has copied the technique. I believe he'll use it against his comrades, unlike what Naruto would do. Naruto may use it to protect his comrades, but Sasuke could use it against his comrades, which is what I fear the most. <clears throat> Naruto will then force Gara within his sand, his sand dome or sand bubble thing, that will cause him to start transforming into Shikaku, which will trigger the start of the invasion. Tamari and Conqueror would eventually land before grabbing the spear of sand before then forcing Gara before picking it up and running out of the arena. But now to looking at the um top of the uh, Hokage's top the Kage booth where he will see um Orochimaru now appears. Naruto then forces the Shadow Clone, sending the Shadow Clone after Gara. As Naruto jumps up just in time to land inside of the barrier with um here's and Naruto says, yo, man, we're going to kill a snake today, aren't we? His ears and smiles before saying, ah, Naruto, it's a good thing that you're here now. Here, now I'll finally be able to take on my wayward student. Naruto says, yeah, he will. He will be. Anyways, Naruto would then tell, uh, tell Hiruzen, let's go. As the two of them began fighting, Fighting Orochimaru, not giving him enough time to perform the Edo Tensei. Naruto performing a lot of a lot of slashes that have fire 
but using his sword with fire coating in it will begin cutting Hiroshimaru, forcing him to constantly regen, um, use the regenerative abilities of his snake shedding skin, or his um, his shedding jutsu, his skin shedding jutsu, where he comes out with a new body. And here's him to keep him on the um, offensive also and the defensive. On the defensive, not the offensive, offensive. You keep him on the defense. Creating openings for Naruto. Naruto and Hughes and work like they've worked together their entire lives. It's more or less because Naruto has activated his shining and is seeing how Hughes would act in the future. Naruto's just capitalizing on that. And Hughes and realizing this. Originally, Rosemont was to drop the barrier. As Naruto looks at his men before them, forcing them to con con continue the barrier with just a normal shrine going in Jutsu. But they won't realize that until a little bit later. The Rochimaru will then see this. He says, No! She's about to flash Chakra to free his men, only for Naruto to appear to cut off both of his arms. As Naruto says, I had you now. The Rochimaru sees his arms are hurting. Not he can't sh when he sheds his skin, his arms didn't reform. As Naruto says, I've destroyed your chakra segment, your chakra's um network in your arms. They won't reform until you, unless you switch bodies. I call it ash swipe. <laughs> it's was where I swing my sword, coating it in my white flames, and burning the flames as hot as I can. I'm so they're on the verge of turning a new color. <clears throat> and it basically, basically, and it attacks the chakra network. It doesn't really attack the physical, it attacks the physical body, but it attacks the chakra network the most. As a Rochimaru would then pulse his chakra without the hand size, forcing his men out of the Genjutsu, before they're telling them to drop the barrier, they're leaving, they're retreating. With the Akon Naruto minutes ago, Naruto would then land in front of Gara, for saying, Gara, really? You and your siblings should really stop running from me before I become angry. Samari then says, No. As Naruto then says, Fine. As Naruto appears in front of Tamara for delivering a little fist directly through to her ch uh, like a like a straight out hand. You know, like how a verse flash vibrates his hand. Naruto's not vibrating, it's just going great to Tamari. It delivers a, a, that's incredible. It's like, it's a little bit, it's a really painful for the way Naruto. And now it's not, I'm going to be a fist. He's going to, um, no, I was just to say he's going to fist tomorrow, you know. He's going to, um, fist tomorrow directly in her chest, sending her flying. As Naruto then see, as Conqueror was trying to stab him, Naruto grabbed Conqueror's arm before then breaking it, only to realize, huh, a puppet, huh. Naruto jumps back and forth, only two kunais into Conqueror's real body. Kakuro dropped out of the puppet, bleeding profusely. As Naruto says, you have, well, at least five hours to, re to receive treatment before your wounds kill you. As Tamari begins rushing towards Naruto with a fan in one arm, as she's about to swing on for Naruto to appear in front of her, saying, sorry, but no. As Naruto turns around before smiling, he says, now nah, you take care of her. As Naruto throws Tamari towards a person. Only for that person to cock their fist back in to deliver a devastating punch to Tamari, sending her flying into a tree. Naruto says, Good job, Sakura. And Sakura thanks Naruto. As Naruto says, Now to deal with that, as Garo has now transformed into a full Shikaku, Garo was hurrying up. He did the plain Fox and Jutsu as fast as he could. As soon as he saw Naruto take out um, Gar um, take out Kongro, he was performing the plain Fox and Jutsu. <clears throat> Eventually, Eventually, um, Naruto then says, All right, Sakura, hold on tight. As Naruto then say, Summoning Jutsu as a dragon would appear. As Naruto says, You ready? As a dragon would not. As Naruto then say, Now let's go. As Shikaku and his giant dragon begin having battle with fire and wind attacks flying towards each other. Naruto then say, Spin. As Naruto would then, the dragon would then begin to go in the air. As Naruto makes a shadow clone, as the as he himself goes to stand on one of the dragon's wings, with his blade on fire. As the other clone does it on the other wing, as they be, the dragon begins to spin, Naruto begins to release little flaming cuts from the dragon. 
as it begins to deliver cuts around Shikaku and the parts that he cuts Shikaku's at, it then instantly turns to glass. As Naruto says, now, as the dragon, then, um, the dragon's uh, right hand claw begins to be indulged in flames. As it swipes down on Shikaku, hitting, even hitting Gara, waking him up, but Shikaku eventually, um, that part of Shikaku is destroyed, and the ends where it's not destroyed, like where it was destroyed and the parts are missing at, the parts where it touched are literal glass. Gara falls to the ground. It's not until a walk up to him before delivering a swift kick to the head, knocking Gara out. Sakura will look at Naruto and say, Wow, that was so cool, Naruto. As Naruto says, Thank you, Sakura. And Sakura says, Did I do good? As Naruto says, You did well. As he um, does the little head pat, the head thing that people do in anime, apparently, to Sakura, they both walk away back to the Italy fields, with Sasuke standing there. And Naruto walks past him. For the, um, for Looking at him and looking away. <clears throat> now, eventually, they would head back to the Hidden Leaf Village, where Naruto would be met by Hiruzen. It's Naruto, Hiruzen says, "Thank you, Naruto, for what you've done, and for your, um, and for your help with me fighting Orochimaru and apparently taking on the, um, taking on the One Tails." Naruto says, "Oh, that was my clone." And Hiruzen says, oh, "I'm just a clone." As Yuzu says, what? As the clone disperses, as Naruto comes in through the window, saying, sorry, I um, went to go get some ramen. As Yuzu says, Naruto, I, I don't know what to do with you. As Yuzu then says, as I was saying, Naruto, I would like to promote you to Joni for your for your help during the, throughout the invasion. You've shown the necessary skills to become a Joni, and your brutality is unmasked, really. I've never seen someone take that much anger out on on any Jihad besides Itachi. Naruto will smile. Naruto says, you hear that, Itachi? As Itachi comes out of the one, out of the corner saying, yes, I heard that. Susan says, so, what are you doing here? To, to tell Naruto that we will be soon attacking him. And he must leave the village as soon as possible so that we can do this and I can get away with, while delivering information to him. Not here, though. My partner is waiting for me soon, so I'll have to leave. As Naruto would nod, before Itachi would disappear in a murder of crows. As he was in with them, called in Jiraiya. As he was in with them, revealed to Jiraiya that he wants Tsunade to become his successor. That Jiraiya is to go find Naruto, go find Tsunade. He would then tell Naruto that he used to leave the Hidden Leaf Village and to go to the Valley of the Yang. As Jiraiya is wondering why he's in, he's in Naruto, so I would be like, sure, why not? <clears throat> so Naruto would eventually go to the Valley of the End where he would be confronted by Itachi and Kisame. As Naruto says, all part of the plan. Good thinking, old man. As Naruto then said, you two can come out. As both Itachi and Kisame come out, as Naruto says, how are we going to do this? One on one or one on two? Or should I say 500 on two? As the two of them wonder what he's talking about, as 500 Naruto drop from the ground surrounding them. And Naruto says, Now, how do you want it? As with Jiraiya is going to have a fairly easy time taking care of Tsunade. Tsunade doesn't. Uh, getting Tsunade to come to the village because um, Jiraiya will tell her that this is literally an order of the whole country. She's coming back to the village now. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. <clears throat> this why I was going to her that her sense that the heroes was way too lenient with her in allowing her to just roam free like that. Eventually, Jiraiya and Tsunade and Shizune would appear in the village, and Naruto would, be, would still be fighting Itachi and Kisame, or his clones would. Naruto says, I guess it's time I finally come back in. She dispels the rest of his clones as he begins rushing towards Kisame. As Kisame is wondering what Naruto is doing. It's not so glad his blade as he appears behind Kisame, revealing to Kisame that he was in a Genjutsu, but Simon Hara wasn't fast enough to combat it. As Naruto drops his blade on Kisame, Kisame brings up Simon Hara as soon as possible, but he's now struggling because he wasn't able to get it up as where he would be comfortable at. Naruto will bring it down, as Naruto will then turn, twist in the air, or slicing Itachi, Itachi's palm as Itachi tried to grab him. Naruto then kicks Itachi away before then grabbing Kisame and literally 
grabbing uh, grabbing his gills. He touched. Uh, I'm pretty sure Kisame is someone similar to Fishman on Fishman Island and One Piece. So I'm pretty sure that you he can literally just force air into his gills that he has while underwater. Go can force air into his gills, which this this which would disorientate Kisame. Now Naruto would then kick Kisame away from Itachi. As Itachi would then put his arm gun into Naruto, seeing as Kisame is literally unconscious now. What Naruto's done. Itachi would then um, grab Kisame before disappearing with Samihara. Naruto disappears back to the village, revealing to the heroes and what happened at the Valley of the End, along with Jiraiya and Tsunade. So eventually word would get out that Naruto was attacked by uh, Kisame and Itachi. And this would get out to Sasuke. But Sasuke would be angry. Why did Itachi want Naruto? Why not him? Was he not powerful enough? So Itachi began so Sasuke begins to leave to go to Orochimaru when the South War would eventually approach him. And they would ask him to go to Orochimaru. As Naruto didn't say. Sasuke would then say that he was already going there. Oh yeah, right, 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 I forgot. I already looked at my phone for a second. I was on Discord. Anyways, Naruto would eventually go back to, um, when Naruto would eventually, um, Sasuke would eventually leave with the sound for with them the same jar. Here is it would then call Naruto towards him. Um, him using not he was in um not um he was in called Naruto as he was in his office as he's currently preparing him and Jiraiya are currently preparing to Naruto to take the role as Hokage. As he was in then tell Naruto that Sasuke Uchiha has left the village. Naruto asks how does he know? He says Sakura Haruno had tried to stop him. She's currently in the hospital. This is what angered Naruto. Hey, where is he? She says he's ha I don't know. I forgot which way Sasuke was heading. We're gonna say Sasuke's heading north. Towards um the hidden sound village. As Naruto Kirizu says, Naruto, you are to judge Sasuke's power, and if within the next couple of years, within the, of a few years, to see if Sasuke will eventually surpass you in power. If he does, you are to if you deem him he possible, you are to kill him on the spot. If you deem him not, you will allow him to go to Orochimaru. As Naruto says, hmm, fine. As Kirizu says, the Uchiha, the those two. Uchiha Kanazari has a bad rep. Um, the Uchiha Kanazari won the uh, well last member, and they already did something treasonous against the uh, he, he didn't leave. He doesn't see a point in trying to preserve that. As Naruto says, finally, you see the truth. As Naruto disappears, as he eventually begins leaving the village at blinding speeds, being extremely angered by the fact that Sasuke had put Sakura in the hospital, his own teammate. Naruto's close, one of Naruto's closest friends, especially since they are on the same team, so they do hang, seem, seem somewhat hang out a lot. So Naruto would eventually uh, run towards uh, Sasuke's location, eventually coming across Jirobo, who has stayed behind him to fight him. As Naruto's massive chakra, um, chakra presence had alerted them to his, um, in, to alert, alerted them that he was coming towards them a lot earlier than normal. <clears throat> so, so, um, yeah. Hey, if, okay, so Drobo would then begin to fight Naruto, trying to use his pure strength against Naruto, his, bare, his physical strength against Naruto, only for him to realize that that doesn't work. And when he would try to use his dome, Naruto would supercharge it with Kyuubi's chakra and lightning chakra. Forcing and um and since the Kyuubi chakra does have somewhat of a fire nature to it, it would literally burn Jirobo from the inside out. 
Because, um, yeah. Naruto with Intel Drobo. Maybe next time he could have done better, but now, no, he couldn't have. <clears throat> Drobo would then, um, would then, um, would then use, Naruto would begin to run away, only for Drobo to stop him again, saying that that's not enough to take him on. As Drobo is barely standing on his feet, Nar Drobo does one final attack. But Naruto would easily just cut Jirobo, appearing behind him with his sword drawn. Naruto says, I have no time for you. As Naruto begins to run more, as he senses four other presences in front of him, but another presence had appeared and taken Sasuke with him. As Naruto begins running, he then begins to be attacked by the other members of the Sound Four. There's three other, the other three members of the Sound Four, or four, if you put Sack on it, Sack on it, you call it, so it's technically four. Naruto would begin dodging attacks from them fairly easily, fighting them all at the same time. None of them really had standing a chance. The Sakon would actually, or Sak I can't remember which one was able to attach to the other, but Ukon or Sakon would be able to attach to Naruto. Naruto then says, oh, that's what you want to do. Naruto says, to try, this on for, try this on for size. As Naruto begins to activate his Magekyo, he says, he's, if he's going to destroy me from the inside out, then why not? Itself. As Naruto's Mangeki ability allows him to basically phase. You've all seen the uh, flash, basically like that. Naruto vibrates his body at the speed of um, at to, at a certain frequency where he becomes similar to air. So eventually, Sakon's essence or Ukon's essence will leave his body, and with the QB, it would heal it instantly, undoing all the damage that he, that they had done to it. When it comes to Ki Kimi and Kirimaru, not Ki Kimimaru, Kirimaru, Naruto would be able to take him out first. Kirimaru was the less of a threat. He was a long range fighter, but because of Naruto's Sharingan and him trying, them all trying to fight against Naruto, he was constantly moving. And with the Sharingan's predictability, um, use ability to somewhat see into the future. Naruto um, was able to see this coming and was able to dodge all of his attacks. Along with finding him easily. So Naruto would kill Kirimaru first. And then it would be Sack on it, Ukon. Naruto performing a jutsu. It basically kills off any foreign um any foreign substances within him. When Sack on it, Ukon would both try to join into Naruto, thinking that it would kill him first. Naruto would perform the jutsu, killing them both. It's using his own flames against them. Against anything else within his body. He can also use this to fight. Illnesses and poisons, but I don't think I'll have I won't have him use this anymore in the series after. <clears throat> as Naruto then appears in front of Taiyu, as Taiyu is cut in half, only for Naruto to appear behind her, realizing that she was gonna get you too. Taiyu is dead down her guard. As Naruto says, I'm gonna need one more one person to take it as a hostage before then mean Taiyu in the face, knocking her out. As Naruto puts a scroll on Taiyu, a prisoner scroll, as he then disappears with Taiyu in, um, with a scroll in his hand. As he eventually puts it away, as Naruto then begins to run towards Kimimaru. Kimimaru. Now I know they weren't really able to use their full power against Naruto, but Naruto was not going to let them do that. Maybe um, Kimimaru was, but no. I don't think Naruto would allow the rest of them to go full power to fight him. Jirobo was kind of seeing what he was what he was capable of doing. But now Naruto's fighting Kimimaru. Naruto goes into a field where he's eventually has to dodge bullets, but when he looks at him with his shining card, he sees that they are bone bullets. Naruto says a bone a hey, Kaguya, huh? Let's see how he can take me on. As Naruto died, um, pulls out his sword, blocking a bone a bone sword from Kimimaru. Kimimaru says, I won't let you touch um, Lord Orochimaru's vessel. As Naruto said, oh. <laughs> I mean, nah, I'm not about to say that, no. I was, like, I, I was going to say, no, nah, I was going to say, he's gonna, I'm going to do more than touch him. But no, that, that wasn't going to sound right. Anyways. Naruto will then tell him, oh, and what's going to, no, that's not going to, that's not, I'm going to hurt him. I'm not going to touch him. I'm going to hurt him. As Naruto begins, Clashing blades with Kimimaru, with Naruto slashing Kimimaru and breaking bones, only for Kimimaru to repair them. 
as Naruto lands a kick against Kimimaro, only for his legs to be caught in Kimimaro's bone, a literal bone re- um, cage on Kimimaro's body. Naruto says, you think you're clever, huh? As Naruto then lands on his hand before then using his, the power of his muscles to lift Kimimaro off the ground and to slam his head into the ground. As Naruto then says, this is the one, er- this is the one uh, Earth Jutsu I created. I don't really have an Earth affinity, but I can't do this due to Earth style, Earth impl- um, Earth implosion. As the Earth ex- uh, Earth explosion or implosion, the Earth begins to explode under Kimimaro, burying him, uh, forcing him deep within the ground. As Naruto then says, Earth burial. He learns. Well, I said, oh, not Earth burial. Um, not. I want to say water style. Um. Water burial, but no, um, Earth style Earth burial. So he would learn two Earth style techniques, even though he doesn't have an f- affinity for that. That does not mean that he could not learn the jutsu though. <clears throat> Naruto would eventually begin to um, run over towards Sasuke to tell us the burial, only for a, uh, I believe it was called Bracken Dance, which was the technique that he had used against um, um, Gara and Lee. Or all of those bones spawn from under the ground, from the ground and everything. Anyways, <clears throat> my bad. Um, I had disconnected the last on my phone. That's not the point. Um, Naruto. Would eventually um, dodge this by activating his own Tsusano. A white ethereal creature would appear. As Naruto would then say, "Take this." As Naruto uses his uh, forces his chakra throughout the ground. It's sort of like his sensing tech, a sensing technique that he's created to sense people, especially Earth users or anyone who's hiding within the Earth. Naruto will force his um, foot into the ground. And then would use the um, his chakra to spread throughout the ground, finding Kimimaro. As the Susano would then form two arms, would have two katanas within him. And they would then slam it directly into Kimimaro's position, killing Kimimaro within and there. Kimimaro wouldn't even have the chance to die of his disease, but he would die by the hands of Naruto Susano. <clears throat> Naruto would say, That's my Susano's binding technique. It's more or less meant to bind Biju. I created it. I used that. To, I actually had him summon two swords. It's, it's supposed to be used to bind Biju, but it can kill ninjas. It will most definitely kill ninjas that I go against. As Naruto will see that Sasuke had escaped the um the um barrel and had run, began to run. As Naruto will say, "So the force of death, huh? Well then, why don't why don't we leave? Why don't we go there?" As Naruto begins to run towards where Sasuke is, as he eventually meets him at the forest, the, at the um, at the forest of death, the valley of the end. And with Sasuke standing over Amada's head and Naruto standing over Hashirama's head, and Sasuke runs towards Naruto, not even saying a word, wanting to kill Naruto. As Naruto begins to fight Sasuke, Sasuke enters his curse mark stage two, seeing as how. He wasn't even able to fight Naruto normally, and Naruto was severely outclassing him. So he skips stage one and goes straight to stage two. As Naruto says, stage two, huh? You know, I can do that too, but mine turns me into more of a dragon. As Sasuke is wondering what he means by that, as Naruto begins to have a flaming wings come out of his back. Well, it's not like flaming, like, like there's a bone structure which is made of, um, of like normal bone and then the wing part like what it goes over the bone is actual fire as Naruto's hands hands and feet begin to turn into dragon claws as he then begins to grow a tail Naruto looks at Sasuke with slitted eyes blue slitted eyes or yellow slitted eyes actually as Naruto says now Sasuke come at me as Sasuke and Naruto began clashing but Naruto is severely outclassing Sasuke Sasuke has no way of defeating Naruto, but he will continue to try his best. When he eventually becomes tired of doing whatever they're doing, Sasuke reaches for his katana, 
Only for him to realize it's no longer there. It's not until says she's looking for this, huh? It's not until grabs his blade before them breaking it in half. This kid would say, no, that was my father's blade. And Naruto says, I know, that's why I destroyed it. As Sasuke would be angered by this even more, Sasuke would then say, Chidori, as he be, as he forms Chidori, as he begins rushing towards Naruto. As Sasuke, Naruto then begins to walk away, Sasuke says, don't you turn your back on me. As Sasuke is about to stab Naruto directly through the chest, only for Naruto to turn around, grab Sasuke's hand before breaking it. Naruto says, you don't have potential, so I won't kill you here. Grow strong and then come back to fight me one day. Well, kill Itachi, because I, by the time you grow strong enough to kill Itachi, I will have already become stronger than Itachi. In the next three years, I will become stronger than Itachi. Kill Itachi first, then you might stand a chance against me. Naruto smirking, not, not with Sasuke not knowing what he plans to do. Once Sasuke tries to kill Itachi. Naruto then kicks Sasuke. Before Rotomaru would then appear saying, I can't allow you to kill my vessels. Naruto says, take him. They hear the leaf doesn't want any Chiha like him in there. And they are bound there amongst their ranks. As Naruto throws Sasuke towards Rotomaru, as Naruto then leaves. As Rotomaru is wondering why is Naruto affected by the um about the curse mark like Sasuke was. Naruto's into the, the stage, second stage of it, so why isn't he affected like Sasuke is? Naruto begins to walk away. As he then says, So long, Sasuke. It's Itachi. I'm sorry, but your brother is falling into the darkness. And for that, he must die. So eventually, we tie skip to Naruto back in the village. Well, actually, a couple days later. Shinari would eventually have been um, brought into the village as the Hokage. Nah, she was already in the village, but she would have been brought to the village and would have been. No, she would have been announced to the village that she was the new Hokage. And she would get to know Naruto a lot better with them developing a more of a personal bond. Not as personal as the normal Naruto and Shinari at this, at this time. Like, where this is getting time at least. But they'll get there eventually. Eventually, Jiraiya and Kakashi would oppose Naruto about a three-year training trip. With Kakashi proposing that they train Naruto within the Dragon Realm. Naruto would then go to Hiryu and Tsunade about this. Well, Tsunade would then say, fine. As the next month, task of another month, Naruto would eventually leave. Saying goodbye to all of his friends as he begins his training. They eventually go to the dragon's realm. Kakashi says that he doesn't want to age by 10 years, so some they will appear in the dragon realm to train Naruto from time to time. While the dragons teach Naruto Senjutsu, and this is going to take a lot longer than Naruto's told Senjutsu, like years at most. <clears throat> Naruto would eventually, um, would eventually begin finish his training three years later in the, human, in the normal realm. But in Dragon Ball, it's been well over 10 years. And Naruto's not the normal age of 26. I mean, I wanted him to be that age when he left, so yeah. You know, you gotta say, yo, that's really not good. Like, isn't Sakura 16? That's three years, she's 19. Naruto's 26. There's a major difference in age between Naruto and the rest of his um, friends. From the other Konoha 11. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering what happened to Neji during the tuning exams. He obviously would not have allowed Neji to go so far. But it told Neji that if he faces Gara and he knows he cannot win, he will give up. Or they would use the curse seal on him and cause him to forfeit the match. And would um have an uh, end um, touch and he would be kicked out of the match and won't be able to go into the next tuning exams. Or even then one after that if, if he doesn't listen. So Neji would... Fight guard, but when he would see that he's getting extremely overwhelmed, he would give up. That's why Neji is not crippled like Lee was. Lee, while Lee was crippled, um, crippled the same, Tsunade did heal him during her time of um, being in the Hidden Leaf Village. Everyone knew she was in the Leaf Village, but no one knew that she was going to be the Okage at the time. So, yeah, there's that. Solving these mis those mysteries. Yeah, that's what's happening with Tsunade. Now, 
<clears throat> I want to tell you guys this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this what if. This is my first what if back since I've done since I posted the talk on what if. And I recorded that what if before. I just uploaded it. I didn't even have to edit it. I had already um put it together and everything. But now I'm putting it all to I'm gonna edit this video, post it for tomorrow or Monday. I will be making my return to making what ifs. Tuesday I will record once more another what if. It'll most likely either be what if Deku was the flash or something else. Or the Deku was Itachi's reincarnation. So I hope you guys will enjoy the what if. <clears throat> I know you guys are gonna say, yo, is this the end of the what if? This is not the end of the what if, by the way. It's not it's not the end of the what if. There's another part. It, it goes on for even longer. I'm just saying because I'm recording this part after the after Shippuden because I have we've already recorded this, but I didn't like how long it was. I didn't record it. It's like it was gonna be like a four to five hour movie of this. I was like, yeah, no. So this is gonna be like three hours at least, three to four, almost three and a half hours at most. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys later. Word of Entertainment out. In the next, I'll see you in the next part. Not Word of Entertainment out. But I will see you guys when I pick this back up. So I believe we last left off for the time skip, which is where Naruto had just come back from training with Jiraiya Kakashi. So after just coming back from training with them, Naruto will be met with Tsunade and all of them. After <clears throat> where they would then explain why Naruto looks a lot older than what he's supposed to. Naruto looks like, well there's a three year time skip so Naruto's supposed to be 19. But Naruto looks like he's at least 26. And I believe that's the age I said for him in previous recordings of this. I did this, I recorded this in three different parts. <clears throat> but yes, apparently, no, no, I, I think I had Naruto at the age of 26. So, Naruto, you know, after slaying all these things, Naruto and uh, Tsunade they would have a, they would have, like, co they would all go and hang out. Naruto's a lot older. They want to celebrate some things with him. Especially with Tsunade sensing Naruto's presence around, the presence around Naruto shows that this kid here has a lot of power. Untapped. It has a lot of power that he's just that he has so much power that it's just it's just coming off of him like he can't keep all that power within him. Like his presence is literally being shown to the world in a somewhat in a similar way of Ichigo who can't really control his spiritual pressure or the Yatsu or his spiritual power. So you know, he still has a overflowing of mountain, so it still flows around him. Anyways, that's not the point. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, so yes, Naruto will be hanging out with Tsunade, Jiraiya, and Kakashi. They were and she's Yune, obviously. They would all be hanging out with Naruto. Um, and Tsunade eventually would be caught by one of the people who work at the Hokage's office, or one of the Ambu who work at the Hokage's office, to tell her the news. So Tsunade, when she gets the news, will tell Naruto, Jirai, and Kakashi to meet her at her office as soon as possible. And once there, Tsunade would then tell them that um, that guard was kidnapped by the Akatsuki. Naruto would say, so they're making a move, as Tsunade would say, yes, sadly they are. And Naruto would then say, sure, why not? He'll take them on. He'll go. He says, just send me and Kakashi. We don't need backup. We should be able to handle this. Or maybe send Jiraiya too. Three of us haven't really participated in many missions together. As you know, this is fine. You three are to go with, um, go to retrieve Gara. That's then when Tsunade, uh, when Tamari walks in, and along with Shikamaru. As Tsunade then tells the information to, um, Tamari while Shikamaru gets reacquainted with Naruto, asking him how he's been over the few past few years that he seen him so yes so once this they get reacquainted tomorrow but then as when they're ready and see now they says right now as Naruto then tells them all that they need to hurry up and get there as Naruto bites his thumb as Naruto then um once they get out of Konoha's reach Naruto then summon a dragon which will take which he would then tell them to hop on as the rice says toads are better you know in a little sulking toad because he he really wanted Naruto to become his summon. 
It's the set one that Naruto to have the submarine contract of the Toads, but Naruto already has a major one, which being the dragons, and a minor one, which being Kakashi's dogs, or Nin dogs. So Naruto <clears throat> with them tell them just shut up as they get onto the dragon. As the dragon then takes them out to wait towards Suna. But they would arrive just in time to see Daedara and um, Daedara about to kill Gara. As well, well, when he captures Gara, not about to kill him, but when he captures Gara and is about to leave, Naruto would drop down. Naruto, Jiraiya, Kakashi would drop down. As Naruto tells the dragon to take Tamari into Suna to take her to um, to help as many people as possible. That she does not need to be here while they take these people on. As the dragon nods, as Naruto leaves, I mean, as it leaves and takes Tamari, as he follows Naruto's orders exactly. As Naruto then says, "So you're sorcery." Of the red sand and your data at the map bomber. As Sasori and Data are now just now finishing their argument about which what is true art is art in the, something that um is art an explosion or swords or I forgot their idea of what it was exactly. It was like something that you could be seen for a little while but doesn't last forever. And they Sasori's was like something Art is something that truly that lasts truly forever or something like that. Anyways, that's not the point. They would finish their argument and they would then uh, once they see the three people in front of them, they would get into a fighting stance. As Naruto then began to flood the area with his chakra. And Sasori then begins to try to control his scorpion puppet. Only for him to realize that it's not working, like, at all. So, Sasori's so wondering, he's asking what's happening. It's not just as he's flooding him with, he's flooding the area with his chakra. It's kind of preventing him from creating his own chakra strings to, uh, from controlling the puppet. As Sasori says, well then, as Sasori jumps out of the puppet, as he then begins to fight in his normal body, or his puppetized body. So once he gets out, he then begins to strap weapons from his elbows and his arms as he begins to run towards Naruto. And Naruto says, Jiraiya, you have this. Jiraiya, you have this, right? As the both of them nod, as um, Jiraiya jumps in front of Sasori before then delivering a quick punch to him. As Naruto jumps towards Deidara. As Naruto then, um, Naruto then says, you're mine. As Naruto delivers a swift kick to Dato, kicking him away. Only for the Dato he kicked away once it lands to explode. As Dato comes from the ground below, trying to releasing bombs, trying to explode Naruto. Only for Naruto to look at Dato and force his chakra within the ground before then replacing himself with Dato itself, causing Dato to uh, be caught in his own explosion. Dato would jump back as you can see his Akatsuki cloak is torn. He's built up some amount of a resistance to his own explosion, so he's he's while he is injured, he's not that injured. Like it would have killed Naruto, probably he thought it would have probably killed Naruto, even though it wouldn't. Have. But Naruto's uh, uh, making sure he's avoiding unnecessary damage. As Dator then begins to run towards Naruto, as Naruto turns on his Sharingan to see what exactly is happening, as Naruto looks and sees that the um that both of the um what's it called that the um. What was it called? That now. Um, that his clay birds were magically made from both. It was lightning and earth chakra, which is what makes up explosion release. So, Naruto will say, so this is what's happening. Well then. As Naruto then begins to uh, then performs one hand side before then say, Water Dragon Vortex as not as a um as the air the the land around them begins to flood with water that is seemingly coming from the air. As it begins to spin and at an ungodly amount of speed. As eventually from that spinning area a dragon will form before grunt, jumping out of the water, grabbing Gator and dragging him as deep as he can. As Naruto would then say Lightning style, lightning pulse, as he places his hand on the ground before pulsing 
his um the chakra throughout the entirety of the um water as it begins to electrocute data even disabling the bombs he has just placed that probably would explode in the water as Naruto then uh, waits to see his data comes up if Naruto eventually takes the water away or so it seems his data then tells Naruto that he's pretty strong for his own age Naruto says yeah that's true He's, and he's pretty strong, but he's nowhere near him. As Dayro then um, begins to, I believe it wasn't C0, I believe it was C3 that he would use against Naruto. Or C4, it was one of those. C0 is his ultimate attack, if I'm not mistaken. So, <clears throat> um, so using C, I believe, 3 or 4, he would drop a gigantic bomb on Naruto, trying to explode it. As Naruto then says, well, then let's see how you handle this. As Naruto places a scroll on the ground, as Naruto then says, um, ceiling guards, um, I'll hold up, five element barrier. As Naruto places up a barrier, as the bomb would touch it, the bomb would be, um, the barrier is basically made up of chakra of the five elements. So whatever, if anybody was to use an elemental jutsu against it, the barrier would deploy the element that is that this jutsu is the weakest against at its weakest. It would make sure that it deploys enough chakra, even if it was a strong jutsu, that it would be basically counter countered. So Naruto, it would deploy a bunch of lighting chakra, which would go through the C3 or C4. And we'll disable it only for Naruto to just kick it towards Data. Data not knowing what exactly happened will think the bomb is about to explode. As he had already said, cuts. As the bomb, when the bomb doesn't explode, he's wondering what happens as he dodges the bomb. Only for Naruto to appear behind him. As Naruto has chakra coming in, now I'm going to have give Naruto a new blade. Just a normal blade. Um, a normal katana. As Naruto will then. Uh, rush towards Dator before then slashing him with pure lightning chakra. As Dator jumps back, now having a gigantic gas on his chest. Think about Zoro's gas from Mihawk. That type of, he has that type of cut on. As Dator jumps back, as he's thinking that they need to retreat, but he also needs to get the guard's body away. As he sees Gara behind him on the dragon, as Dator then uses the dragon to spin so it would kick Naruto off of it. As the dragon does this, Naruto then says, Well then, I guess it's time for me to use this jutsu now. As Naruto drops down from the ground before then, performing a single hand sound, Naruto says, Wind style, wind step jutsu, as it creates platforms of wind under Naruto. As Naruto begins to make steps, wherever he steps on in the wind, he creates basically a platform of wind. As Naruto begins to catch up with Dator, Dator says, okay, at this point, this dude is just literally hacking. And he's literally, he's literally just doing what, pulling Jutsu out of nowhere. As Naruto finally catches up with Dator, as Naruto begins to flood the area with Chakra once more, as he then replaces himself with Gara. Only for Dator to see um, that Gara had been replaced with Naruto. As Naruto then touched... Having Chidori cut and coating his hand, not even using hand signs to activate it. Naruto will touch the dragon before then saying, um, not Chidori Pulse, but, um, what was it that Sasuke called it? It was Chidori Stream. Um, yes, that's what Naruto would use upon the dragon. Just say, basically counteracting its explosiveness, but I believe it would still be able to fly away. As Naruto will then say, well then. I gotta go. As Naruto disappears in a white flash, as as Dator then hears something sizzling, as he looks back to see right where Naruto is, is a basically a clone of Naruto, or not even a clone, a human body that seemingly that is seemingly made up of paper tags, as it all explodes on it, creating a gigantic explosion. As Dator jumps off the dragon at the last minute, which eventually it causes him to. He does take a severe damage to his face and everything, which basically impedes him. As Naruto then says, well then, Dator, this is it now. As Naruto then cuts off Dator's arm. With the one with the ring before catching it. And Naruto senses an, a, a sort of chakra coming from this ring. Naruto then says, this ring must be important. 
Because Naruto then takes the ring from Deidre's finger. <clears throat> As Naruto then says, well, how about we finish this? As Naruto turns around to see Deidre um, standing there. She says, give me that back. As Naruto says, no. As Naruto would then say, one style, one circle storm. As not as a wind will begin to um, um to pulse, the winds will begin to pick up around Naruto. As everywhere the wind goes, Dator is getting slashed by it. As Naruto then says, <clears throat> "This is your end. I hope you have fun where you're going." As Naruto cancels at the G2, as Dator is wondering what he's doing, as Naruto appears behind him, saying, "You're already dead." As Naruto has cut off Dator's head, as he then begins to go towards Gar, where he sees Kakashi and Jiraiya are already there. With, with Kakashi and Jiraiya applying medical, uh, using somewhat, some, uh, using first aid on Gar to try to save him as best as they can before taking him to a hospital in Suna. And this time, Kankuro never got to face um, sorcery, so there was no need for Sakura. So they would all head to Suna where Gara would eventually wake up a couple of days later where he would then thank Naruto. As Naruto would tell Gara that he's very well welcome. As Gara then says, now fight me, Uzumaki. Now I believe I did not have Naruto befriend Gara, and there's a reason for that. Naruto has created more of a rivalry between him and Gara. While they aren't friends, they are most definitely rivals. Naruto would then tell Gara maybe another time. Maybe the time with the Akashi is no, no longer a threat, so they won't have to worry about someone trying to come after them once they weaken each other. As Gar nods. I says, well, I'll be waiting for that day. <clears throat> as Naruto and Jiraiya and Kakashi eventually leave Suna before heading back, as Jiraiya then tells Naruto about the information of Orochimaru, saying that Sasori had a spot within Orochimaru's ranking. That he would uh, that he Naruto and Kakashi are most like uh, no and along with uh, probably his old teammate Sakura are supposed to be going to go ahead and um <clears throat> are going to go ahead and meet them um meet the spy and probably try to get as much information on Rojimaru before taking out the spy itself. As Naruto nods, as Naruto says, well, I haven't seen Sakura since I got back. Like, um, like, I believe I did have him meet, and, like, when I stopped recording, I did have him meet Sakura, so I think I did have to have that happen. I know I just skipped over that, but I believe I had that happen when I previously stopped recording. I, because literally, most of my what if, since a lot of the what ifs come off straight off the head, then I do tend to forget a lot of things, especially since I, I recorded this what if well over two weeks ago. I recorded the first part, or, or the first part of Naruto, there, and I'm just now getting into Puda two weeks later because I got lazy at recording and everything, and I wanted to try scripting out a what if, but I couldn't necessarily do it. I don't know. I might have to go ask someone for help on how they learn to script easily, easier. So I learn to script a lot better than what I can now. But yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, that's not the point. So Naruto would head and then would head back to Konoha where they would then would leave give the information to Tsunade. As Tsunade would then tell Kakashi and Naruto that there she's reinstating the King Kakashi as a as a three man cell with her with Sakura, Kakashi, and Naruto as it. This is then when Donzo would come in, telling Tsunade that he would like to offer someone the position for Sasuke on Team Seven. Now. Naruto immediately knowing where Donzo is, would then look at Tsunade before casting a quick Genjutsu over her. But Anbu noticing this, but seeing they they kind of have like a sensory ninja who's looking at them and telling them that there was no ill intent behind the Genjutsu, Naruto would tell Tsunade not to let Donzo do this. He has a plan or something, especially since he somehow knows about this mission. He must have someone, he must have something he wants from Orochimaru or something. Tsunade would not before then leaving the Genji to his and Tsunade would then say, sorry Donzo, but no. As Donzo says that that Konan Ha has never had a three-man cell with just three 
people on a team. There has always been the Jonin Sensei and then his two other students. And then his three other students. As Shinari says, well, his third student is in, currently in the hands of Orochimaru. As Gonzo says, yeah, no thanks to Naruto. As Naruto says, it wasn't my play to make that call. As this is then when someone else would arrive. This being Kiris and Saratobi. I believe I did have him survive the battle. I did, actually. I did have him survive the battle with Orochimaru. Naruto would then say, hello, old man. It's been a while since I've last seen you. As Kiris then would there say, yes, it has Naruto. As, Naruto, as he was in with them, tells Tsunade to just let Naruto, Kakashi, and Jiraiya to go. As he looks at Donzo, as Donzo sees that he's lost this, he then he then leaves, only to tell his his spy um to tell one of his root agents to just follow them and meet up with Orochimaru and his spy to deliver the information. Thing is how he most definitely sees that Orochimaru is most definitely probably going to ambush these people and probably kill them. As Naruto, as um, Naruto thanks you for getting rid of Donzo. As Tsunade then he says, well then, Naruto, try, uh, Naruto, go, go receive, go get Sakura and you will have your other teammate here. Another teammate? I thought you said, yeah, well, no, it's still a three-man three cell, but for this mission, we're going to need someone else to be here for the, for the spy, at least. And Naruto would not sing. Oh well, he can understand this. So Naruto would sit there and um, would eventually go and retrieve Sakura, going to her house. Where Sakura says, "Oh Naruto, you're back from your mission already. How did it go?" So Naruto says, "Well, they were able to save Gar." She says, "Gar was in trouble." So Naruto says, "Yeah, but they were able to save him, and then he's coming here to get her because they're going after one of the spies within the Rochimaru's bases." And Sakura is thinking maybe that this is a chance for her, them to treat Sasuke back. As Naruto then tells Sakura, thinking, seeing her and seeing, probably knowing what she's thinking, Naruto will tell her that Sasuke is not going to come back to Konoha. Unless he's most definitely killed. Any sooner than that, then Sasuke will not come back. And while in the Hokage's office, he was in then tells Tsunade about Naruto, about what he had, the mission he had given Naruto um, when he went to tree Sasuke, that told Naruto to um to tell her that Sasuke should be allowed to leave if if Orochimaru escapes. Sasuke should be allowed to leave with him to give Naruto this information. And Tsunade asked him why was he he's um as why would she allow him to leave as uh, Irizumba says, look, you know, like, Sasuke will never learn properly under anyone at Konoha. He can see that himself. And while he does wish he was, it's Orochimaru he went to. Orochimaru is seemingly the person, right person to train Sasuke. Just like Jiraiya and Kakashi are the right person to train Naruto, and you were the right person to train Sakura. As... Um, so, um, Sonata hears this, Sonata even says, that's fine, it's, he even says, Naruto has already deemed Sasuke's potential as being less than his own. So, Tsunade within says, you have Naruto evaluate Sasuke. He says, yes, while they were fighting, Naruto basically tested out Sasuke's potential to see how far he would go as a shinobi and tested that he, Sasuke would become weaker than himself even when, even at, before knowing about the three years of training that he would receive. From Jirai and Kakashi. As he was in this, is, oh, by the way, why does Naruto look so much older than what he's supposed to? Tsunade says, it's a whole thing. As Tsunade will then says, she will allow Hirozen to keep this mission going. Hirozen nods before then leaving. As Tsunade, um, Sakura eventually comes into the office where, um, where Yamato is, where they are then introduced to him and everything. Once reaching there, um, um, Naruto then says, when did they leave? And Tsunade says, the, n the next morning. So, the next time get to the next morning, everyone would meet up. There's been Kakashi, Yamato, Sakura, and Naruto. As they appear, they then leave. As on the way, Yamato begins to ask questions like, how is Sa um, what does Sasori sound like? What exactly does he look like? As Naruto, using the transformation due to 
would do the perfect voice and um, look for Sasori. Also telling Yamato that Sasori hides within a puppet. So he should also you know, transform into that puppet, which Naruto would then transform himself into. So, so um, Yamato will perform the normal transformation due to wearing himself to look like Sasori, like the Ronald's real Sasori, and then a wood clone transformation to look like the um, the puppet for the others to, to have the puppet. What he was called um, Hiroko? No, I'm not sure. He would have Sasori's puppet basically. But I am going to be doing a what if on Sasori as yes, De Deku with Sasori's reincarnation pretty soon. So I should probably get used to this. I'm not sure how soon, so don't expect it really fast. Don't expect it to come within it's probably not. It won't come probably until next month or November or something. But yes. <clears throat> Anyways, so yes, Naruto and um, once this is all taken care of, they would all meet up at the bridge. Where eventually Naruto, Kakashi, and Sakura will go around. Where Naruto would then tell Sakura and Sas Kakashi to hold on to him. As Naruto was meditating, Naruto begins to enter stage mode. As Naruto then touches his touches Sakura and Sas Kakashi, as he then begins to force his chakra around them, basically co completely blanketing their chakra and basically hiding them in plain sight. As Sakura and because uh, Kasakura asking Naruto what exactly is he doing? Because Naruto says he's using the energy of nature provides to basically hide them from any sense of danger. And Sakura says, You can do that? That's pretty cool. So Naruto smiles at Sakura for thanking her. As Naruto then looks up, as eventually the spy would arrive, only for it to be revealed to be Kabuto. And this would go much similar to canon, with eventually Orochimaru Alan coming. Now, Orochi, when Kabuto would then betray. Um, Sasori, when the real when Orochimaru would be a little bit surprised to see the real Sasori there, thinking that maybe Konoha would have sent someone after, because he had heard that Sasori died, but apparently not. <clears throat> As Sasori would then says, Orochimaru, I'm here to kill you for what you did to the Akatsuki. Yeah, I'm still only going on the brief information from what. Kakashi had revealed to him about Sasori. As um Richmond would be a little bit shocked saying Kakashi, no. As he begins to tell Kabuto to take him out. As Yamato as Naruto Yamato would then signal them to come out. And Naruto would come out before then clashing um clashing his blade with um Kabuto's medical scalpels. As Naruto says, Orochimaru. It's Lasuke. Me and him have some unfinished business to settle. Zerochimaru says, so you're here to, to retrieve Sasuke. As Lanza says, oh, well, definitely not. No, no. I'm here to belittle him once more. To send him over the edge once more. As Zerochimaru says, well, then you have to get through me first. Sanata says, that can be well arranged. As Nato kicks Kabuto away from him before then rushing towards Zerochimaru. And Naruto plunges his blade into Orochimaru's heart, only for Orochimaru to regurgitate himself. And Naruto then says, well, why don't you try taking this on? As Naruto then begins to transform into his foretale state. But Naruto has control over this state. And QB isn't, Naruto has a lot more control over this state because of the time he's spending the dragon's realm. As Naruto then says, now try to take me on here. Try to take me on with this. As Naruto then begins to run towards Orochimaru at an extremely hyped pace, and Naruto is already extremely fast, so this is a lot faster and way too fast for Orochimaru to keep up with. As Naruto claws Orochimaru in half, as Orochimaru would eventually, um, would eventually regurgitate himself again once more. As Naruto then says, "Well," as Naruto then begins to power up a BG bomb. As Orochimaru sings the power from this, we began to perform the summoning due to all the wrestling. And I believe this time, instead of summoning three, he was actually summoning four. But this wouldn't matter, as Naruto would utterly destroy these four gates. Sending Orochimaru back, as Orochimaru decides to retreat, as not knowing that Naruto had already marked him. 
as Naruto then just then begins to dig like a dog. Like um, like I know you guys are like wait foxes do dig though. They do dig. So Naruto will begin to dig into the ground before bur- burrowing below following the seal on Orochimaru, which is unknown to you guys. It actually meant a, a smell that only Naruto can can actually sense. That only Naruto can smell. Due to him having the QB within him. It's basically like a um, a pheromone of sorts that attracts male foxes to females of sorts. It's something like that. Like how bugs do it, but it's, it's somewhat similar to that. So Naruto will begin following towards Orochimaru. And then they go say, yo, yo, wait, is he gonna? No, he's not gonna do that. But no, Naruto will follow Orochimaru, eventually reaching Orochimaru's base as Orochimaru enters Sasuke's room, telling Sasuke that they need to go now. As Naruto, under him, has the transformed from the Kibi's chakra state already, Naruto, Orochimaru caught Sasuke with then say, why? As Sasuke, Orochimaru then says his, little, his, fellow, his fellow clan member, Naruto, was here. Sasuke was murked, and I had finally put him in his place. He was never. He could never become the clan head of the Uchiha clan. So they kill him here and now. As a voice that says, oh really, as he grabs Sasuke, Naruto jumps out of the ground before grabbing Sasuke by the face and jumping through the entire building, using Sasuke to break it. Which kind of hurt, which really hurt Sasuke, actually. Naruto throws him to the as Naruto lands, as Orochimaru sees as his wide eye, only for him to be hit by a punch by Sakura, who has snuck up on not on him, because he was too, he was too caught up into what Naruto had just done, sending Orochimaru flying. As Orochimaru then began to get out to see what happened to Sasuke, Sakura begins to jump through the through the hole that Naruto just made as she lands next to Naruto. Sakura then tells Sasuke that he needs to come back to Konoha now. As Sasuke then begins to try to use the Chidori sharp spear to, to hit Sakura, only for Naruto's hand to be covered and lightning to grab the spear itself. For Naruto would then grab it like in a grip before then shattering it. The Sasuke just said, Did he just. Did Sasuke began to think, Did he just shatter lightning? As Naruto then runs towards Sasuke with the Chidori still powered up but in a fist now. This place is literally just a Chidori covered hand. As Naruto would then punch Sasuke, sending Sasuke back a few, making him scared. And Sasuke would then begin, begin would then send fireballs towards Naruto. Naruto would die as and Sasuke then jumps up. As he then begins to shoot fireballs into the sky, as Naruto says, that's utterly. But he looks up into the sky with his shining gun activated. He says, oh, so that's what you're doing. And Sasuke begins to go through hand signs, with Naruto unknowingly copying them with, with through his Sharingan. He's using it to copy through his memories and seeing exactly how Sasuke's molding. Naruto says, so, that's what you're doing. And Sasuke will then say, be going with a thunder clap. Kirin. Uh, was, I think that's how he said it. As Sasuke will let his arm down as the dragon will be into form and will rush down upon Sakura and Naruto. And Naruto senses Kakashi appear behind him, and Naruto runs towards Kakashi as fast as pace while grabbing Sakura as he then shields them. Sasuke thinking, <laughs> this is I finally killed you. As Naruto then says, kill too. And Sasuke is wondering what is happening as he then sees a white, a thing made of a white imperial skeletal figure appear behind Nar- above, uh, surrounding Naruto, Kakashi, and Sakura. As you see, Naruto's eyes are half changed. They're different in pattern. They're like a nine size in his eyes. Similar to Itachi, or more or less to Kakashi's, but to Obito and Kakashi's, except there's nine of them rather than just normal three. As Naruto then says, Come on, Sasuke, don't you really think I let you surpass me? <laughs> don't be foolish. As Naruto appears in front of Sasuke before kicking him away, hundreds of meters away, or hundreds of yards away. As Sasuke begins to become angry as he then charges towards Naruto while pairing up Ichidori. As Naruto says, says, I guess I'll just have to take your dream away, your ambition away from you. As Sasuke says, no, 
I won't let you. as Naruto then places um is about to cut Sasuke's arm off only for Orochimaru to appear to kick Naruto's hand away, which really caught Naruto off guard as he then grabs Orochimaru before then disappearing in a, a flame body flicker away as far as away as they possibly can. As they then land well or more or less towards the Kabuto is, who is just restrained by Yamato. As Yamato sees Orochimaru, he is about to capture the only for Orochimaru to grab Kabuto and for them to disappear once more. Signify the end of this mission. As Sakura says, he got away. As Naruto says, don't worry, Sakura. Konoha really has no need for Sasuke. That soon, they didn't even know that they would encounter Orochimaru. They really just thought they would encounter one of his spies. As Naruto then grabs the Kunai before throwing it into a tree behind him, only for them to see a figure fall with a Kunai directly in his head. Revealing to be a boy with very pale skin with black hair. Naruto says so he must be one of Donzo's agents. As the boy still has some life in him, Naruto then look into his eyes before saying, Relinquish your techniques to me. As Naruto then places him under a Genjutsu, which forces Sai to teach Naruto exactly how his techniques work. Well, like while in the mind, at least. As Naruto smiles, Naruto says, good. As Naruto then takes all of Sai's equipment before then killing him with a clean cut to the head. As Naruto says, let's go, our mission is over. As they then leave, as they arrive in Konoha, which Tsunade eventually telling, uh, when Naruto eventually telling Tsunade that Orochimaru and his spy got away along with, um, along with uh, Sasuke. Tsunade went on saying, well, at least we find out who Sasuke's spy. Naruto says, I don't think that's the case anymore. He says, huh? He says, yes, I don't think that's the case anymore. Um, I believe Orochimaru probably broke whatever was causing Sasuke to get his information from Kabuto because Kabuto is very loyal to Orochimaru. And for Sasuke to be able to get information from him means that he had to have done something to Kabuto for him to do this. So Sonata be, being a little confused with this as well. Great time, team. As Naruto says, oh, by the way, Orochimaru will probably report to the Akatsuki that um, Sasuke is alive. I kind of had Yamato per impersonate him perfectly. As Sonata says, this is fine. As little, um, as back to the battlefield where Gara and Adrian had just died, we see Nark, um, we see um, two people there, a plant-like man and another man with black hair and an orange mask appearing right where Sasuke and Dater had just fought. As they begin to look around, they eventually find Sasuke's arm with his ring, but he even begins to scream, where's Dater's ring at? As the plant-like man says, he doesn't know, but he can't sit, he senses his chakra actually. He just sits his chakras. He says where? As he then points to a different direction. As a man notices where this where this where this signature is going to tell take them. As he then begins to say, it's in Konoha. As um the plant like man begins to snarl because now they need the rings to complete the ritual to um to seal away the biju. And if this kid has the has one of the rings, they can't replace sorcery. Or they they can replace the more or less. As he says, we need that ring. As we then cut to Orochimaru a couple weeks later, like or maybe like a month or two later, Orochimaru is currently sick and is being taken care of by Kabuto. And really, more or less, this will must like play out like canon with Orochimaru with Sasuke attacking Orochimaru, Orochimaru still attacking Sasuke back, but Sasuke overall winning this match until Orochimaru tries to, you know, transfer bodies onto Sasuke, only for Sasuke to come out victorious. As eventually, Itachi would then send a crow out to meet Sasuke, after Sasuke has gathered his team, which would be team, that would be team heavy, it would be team heavy at this point. Team Taka comes from after they join the Akatsuki, which means Hawk, I believe. 
I believe that's what Taka stands for, is hawk, but I'm not sure. Because I know heavy stands for a snake, and Taka probably stands for hawk. But anyway, that's not the point. They would eventually appear. <clears throat> they uh, eventually, Itachi was in the pro out to them. And while this was happening, Naruto would begin teaching some kids his own apprentices. He would actually have three, being Loigi, Udon, and Konohamu. Naruto began teaching him their ways, his ways, making him their official apprentices. You might guys be asking, yo, why is Naruto doing this? Naruto, so I did not go over what would happen during those three weeks that Naruto had gotten off. Naruto would have become a Joni during those times. As Sinai would have, um, Sinai would have promoted Naruto to Joni after his fight with the Rotimaru, along with his fight with Daedara, as seeing that he would have promoted Naruto. So that's what happens here. Now we come back to Naruto. Naruto would eventually would still be trying to Konohamaru. Teaching Konohamaru to try to get his flames as hot as he can, to change their color at least. Which I knew do know which flames are the hottest flames. I know which flames are the hottest flames, I believe. I believe it's blue flames. So I will have eventually do something with that. That's the word I As Naruto eventually um is with the um with cup and with them, this is then when Sinai would then come to Naruto. Uh with Sino Amu after Naruto, telling Naruto to come here. As Sinai then tells Naruto that they have just received a message from the Akatsuki. The Akatsuki once and all out is declaring battle, um declaring a war against the Konoha. To get the Naruto to get to him. As Naruto smirks, saying, well, they are coming after the most powerful Biju with his most powerful container. Let's see how they fare. As Tsunade says, I like your attitude, kid. But, uh, we, begin to we begin to mobilize the uh, Ashinobi and everything. So we should be prepared for this. So Naruto says that's good. As um, eventually then, she would then tell Naruto that Sasuke that Sasuke has killed Orochimaru. This is then when a crow will land on Naruto's shoulder. This is, huh? As the crow then looks at Naruto, as if did, as Naruto looks into his memories with his shining line, and Naruto then gets the memories. Naruto says that he has an important mission to go to. And so not even asks what it is. As Naruto says to kill, to stop Sasuke Chiyah from killing Itachi. As Tsunade is like, yo, Naruto, wait, you can't go. So Itachi is a murderer. I mean, this man, he's a criminal. So Sasuke, but Naruto had already disappeared, already leaving the kid in Leaf Village. And eventually, Naruto would meet up with um, Kisap with Team Heavy, actually meeting Karni for the first time. Karni is to get to, and you go as Naruto, who is he? Is. Naruto says he's Naruto Uzumaki, but he's also in Uchiha. As Kisame says, oh, Naruto, you're here. Going past. I think it's time you guys had a little family reunion. As Naruto looks at Kisame. As he then looks at Karin before then asking, hey, you. What's your name? As he sees Karin's a little shocked after he stated his name. As Karin says, I'm Karin. Karin is a monkey. Naruto says, so you're Karin, huh? Karin is a monkey. It's nice to meet you. As Naruto flashes his shine god. Unknowingly trapping Karin and again Jutsu to the others. As Naruto then runs towards the base. As Naruto then reveals something in his hand. As he says, I can't believe you went to take this from him, Sasuke. As um, so he begins to try to grab his Kibikiri Bojo, only to realize it's gone. He says, What happened to Kibikiri Bojo? He's not there. Kizuna says, Oh, the kid took it. As he says, he what? As he begins to try to rush after Naruto, only for Chisame to stand right in front of him. Now that he gets to no longer has Kibikiri Bocho, he doesn't really stand that much of a chance against Kisame. So Naruto would then eventually land where he sees Sasuke and Tachi have already started battling. As an, well, with the game Jutsu's at least. Naruto stands next to Itachi and saying, so you really put him in the game Jutsu, huh? Itachi. Says Naruto. Are you here to kill me also? As 
Naruto says, Itachi, you already know I'm not. Yeah, but your brother here, seeing me, has gone into madness. I believe it's time he be put down. As Itachi sighs, he says, I see, I see. He says, if, he, if someone teaches, tells him the, the truth after the fact, that you, after you, he kills you, mm-hmm. Itachi, he could go rolling and try to destroy Kuma. As Itachi there says, I see, you speak the truth. Let's just see how this plays out. As Naruto places a Yenjutsu upon himself, and his Mangekyo trying out with Itake actually not being here to see the do the Mangekyo trying out illusions yet. But he can't break, he need to break out of Itachi's suit, you know I mean? But I mean, like, he's not able to break the illusion of Naruto's story. Especially with Naruto having a lot more chapter than both Itachi and, um, before, then Itachi. Does they're probably more than Toby does, or Obi does, we know. <clears throat> as Naruto, um, as Naruto, um, watches the battle, he sees Sasuke about to, he sees as eventually Sasuke begins to lose, lose chakra. Eventually, a Roshi Maru arrives, um, comes from Sasuke's curse mark. As he, he sees Tachi use the Tosca blade to seal it away within him. As a Vincent, he sees Sasuke, Itachi take his last breath. Only for Naruto to appear in front of Sasuke and Itachi. As Naruto then tells Itachi to decide, but he cannot let him, he cannot let him die today. As Naruto then places a time seal on Itachi that, that stops the time within the, around Itachi and his body. So Itachi is basically frozen within time. And Sasuke uses this perfect opportunity to be into rushing towards Naruto. Itachi. As Naruto turns around and karate chops him in his neck, causing Sasuke to fall to the ground. As Naruto says, that was a, you were incredibly so Sasuke. But sorry, your ambition will not come to fruition. As Sasuke begins to rage, he says, you can't take this from me, Naruto. He killed our clan. As Naruto then says, yes, he did. And I'm grateful for that. As he then puts his Sasuke out there and gets mm-hmm. you Telling Sasuke the entire truth about what happened to Itachi, what truly happened. What happened to Naruto the Master, why it happened to you, and what happened with Donzo. Sasuke says, Why did he? As Naruto cuts Itachi, Sasuke's hair off, he says, You bore me, Sasuke. Unknowingly to Sasuke, Naruto had taken his techniques. Do it again, Jutsu. He had went into Sasuke's, perished Sasuke's mind, and had went through his entire memories, taking his techniques while he was showing Sasuke his own memories of why Itachi killed the clan and everything, and what really happened. As Naruto would then begin to grasp Itachi, when this is in where a masked man would appear, saying, Naruto Zumaki, give me back Itachi. As the masked man then begins to try to suck Naruto in, Naruto aggravates his Mangekyo. As he begins to phase through this, he's like, hey, wait, whoa, what, what are you do? Uh, is this pop- supposed to be possible? And Naruto then says, sorry, me and Itachi have somewhere to be. As Naruto phases through the ground with Itachi in hand, as they disappear, as Naruto eventually arrives back where, um, like where Kisame is, Naruto tells Kisame that they're going now. Kisame says, you have Itachi. And Naruto says, come on, Kisame, now. As Kisame follows Naruto, asking, what are they running from? And Naruto says, Toby. Or the, um, Naruto says, the man in the orange mask, which shocks Kisame. He says, I mean, I don't think I get it. Naruto says, are you scared of him? You should be a lot more scared of me than you should be of him. Because I've only used the QB once, and it wasn't never to its fullest extent of what I could do with the QB's chakra. <clears throat> As you know, um, he's like, he did, he, did you fight with Naruto? Says, No, I didn't fight with Itachi. That was just him and Sasuke. I didn't really need to fight Itachi. I never wanted to fight Itachi in the first place. But I'm trying to save Itachi's life here. I need you to take me. I need you to come with me. Discard the Ikoski rope and everything. You're no longer a part of the Ikoski. As he then tells, looks at it, um, she gets and says, You die. As he then puts his hand on, um, on, um, 
he gets through as he then begins to discharge a whole bunch of lightning from his hand as he says, Rikiri, as he then begins to use it on Sigetsu. But he uses so much talker that it Sigetsu literally explodes into puddles of water. But he eventually does die. He's basically exploding in puddles of water and blood itself. So Sigetsu does die. I don't really see this as a definite way to kill Sigetsu, but I don't really see any other way besides Lightning Chakra. Or maybe Yen Yang or Yen Yang release or something. Because I don't really see any other way besides that to kill him. Which is Naruto doesn't even have access to that. I won't be giving him that way of killing him. <clears throat> so Naruto would then tell Jugo that he's now following him. As Naruto tells you go that he could probably help him help his help his problem with the um with his crazy side more than Sasuke or Orochimaru ever could. As you go with the game saying but Orochimaru as Naruto says Orochimaru knows nothing and I mean utterly nothing about nature energy. Senjutsu, which is what you're constantly taking in. But because of your clan's history, when you take as Justice, you become dark and but if you balance it out, you could probably possibly use your forms while under your while under control, like fully while you're full, the one in control. As they all begin to follow your incarnate, as they eventually appear back towards Konoha days later, or a couple of hours later, actually moving at full speed, they would appear in Konoha a couple of hours later. As Naruto then tells Hinata that he has guests, as he then um leaves, leaving having a clone with him, Naruto would then uh, have the clone uh, transport the other people in. As the Ambu see Kisame there, they begin to try to attack, them, only for Naruto to um stop it, telling that Kisame is here with him. And Sonata asks Naruto what is exactly what he's doing. And Naruto says, I need your help to protect saves Itachi. And the Ambu then asks Naruto, why does he want a traitor to be saved? Naruto says, Itachi may be there, may help, will help them in their war against the Kostra. As, um, you know, as, um, Kisame says, you're fighting the Akoski, and Naruto says, yes, I am. Kisame says, well, okay. Let's just see how well you fare. And Naruto then says, Sonata, have you sent any other Konoha ninja out since I've left? And Sonata says, no, no other Konoha ninja has left. Has left Konoha since you left. And Naruto says, good, prepare them for war. As Naruto then tells Juko that he's going to take, he's going to transport him to the realm of the dragons. But they will teach him to properly control his energy chakra and that they would reset reverse summoning him to him to Naruto once he's finished. Naruto says he doesn't have the time to do this that he has to make sure Itachi is done but the dragon should be able to help him. As Jugo nods as Naruto then begins to uh, Naruto then reverse summons Jugo to the land of the dragons with their message. As when Jugo arrives the dragons would wonder who Jugo is before and they would then see the message as uh, Juko would then hand the message over, and they would then say, as they begin to so Nasha wants us to train to control his Senjutsu, the Senjutsu, who are within him. Very well, then, he will. As they begin to train um, Juko, as Naruto releases the Genjutsu of Karin, as Karin then wonders where is she, as Naruto says that she's in Konoha with him. As Karin then asks, why did, she, why did he bring her to Konoha? Where is Sasuke? Naruto says, Sasuke is dead. I killed him myself. As Kari and B extremely shocked by this, as we all know, Kari did have a crush on a major crush on Sasuke. So Naruto then says that's not the point here. We'll then tell Kari that Nar that um that Naruto's giving her a chance and then calling her a chance to live a normal life, away from the more away from the madness. As she can become a magnet if she wishes, but he will not keep her under on he will not keep her here under the under a uh, force, and if she wishes to leave, she will leave. But because she's in Uzumaki, her rightful home is in Konoha, alongside him and Tsunade. With him revealing that Tsunade was his grandmother is in Uzumaki, not knowing who her mother is, we can't really say that's Tsunade's mother. It's 
Johnny's mother most likely has blonde hair. Most definitely has blonde hair. Every, um, it's probably that that's the case with Tsunade. Her mother probably has like blonde hair similar to hers or a little bit lighter than hers. <clears throat> so um, so, um, so Karin would eventually be like, okay, okay. As Karin says, just give me some time. And Naruto then takes her to his old apartment. Or to his apartment at least. Or whatever. Not to, to he actually no, he takes her to a place or uh, a hotel of sorts. It's, why did I say that? She takes her to a hotel and tells her that she can stay here for a couple of days. And she takes Kisame to uh, his own house and she then tells Kisame that they're going to have to act this training up for the war that's coming. Kisame, Nanto then asks Kisame for everybody that's within, everybody on the Akoski, the information he has released. Kisame would then brought up the information, even on Toby being Madara. And telling them about even telling them about Yagura. So Naruto about Toby controlling Yagura. Naruto says so even the hit or miss has something to do with this. Has been controlled by Yukoski. As he says where the main base at. He says and 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 the hidden ravens or Anekakur. I believe that's how you will pronounce it. As um, Naruto would thank Kisame. As he then releases this information to Tsunade, reveals the information to as Tsunade then it says that they're going to begin mobilizing their forces. As he then tells Tsunade to get Jiraiya to his house as soon as possible. As when Jiraiya arrives, Naruto would then reveal the truth to Jiraiya about Conan being alive. As Naruto had hearing stories about um, his former students, he says there's also a possibility that Yahiko or Nagato was alive. He's not sure. He says there's a description of a kid with orange hair. Looks the description is a lot like similar to Yahiko's self piercings. And he, but he has the running gun, which means that either um it's Yahiko stole Naruto's eyes or Naruto is somehow controlling Yahiko. <clears throat> so Jiraiya would be sunk by this. Telling them that he has to go to Amekaku. Uh, he has to go to Aim to take down the cost, take these two down because they're his students. As Naruto then tells Jiraiya that he's not leaving until the entire force is ready to fight the Akatsuki. <clears throat> as Jiraiya then tells Naruto that he's his student, he's the real one to take care of them. As Naruto says Jiraiya, what would you do? What are we going to do then? What if you lose? Who would I have left? You're, you and Kashi are and Tsunade and yours are the only family I have left. The only true family. Come on, Sakura. But you guys are the only family I left, and they were paying me to lose you. Just like I lost Mikoto. Or she's for you. He says, what about Itachi? And Naruto says Itachi is currently being, say, being killed by Tsunade as best as he can. He says he should be with, well within the next month or so. And he should be fully healed and fully prepared for battle. Dry Nas. And Nas then tells Dry to go to Mount Yaboku to perfect his sage mode. As much as possible. This is if you can't gather, if you need my body going to save mode, to use shadow clones to gather nature energy for him. That's use shadow clones at Mount Iaboku to gather um, sage mode for him, and just dispel him to have the sage energy, and since you two flow within himself, to transfer to himself. The dry says that's a good idea, kid. I don't know why I didn't think of that. As Naruto then tells Jiraiya and then tells Jiraiya that he's going to be training Kisame to help as Jiraiya would then nod. As Naruto then begins to um, work with Kisame as we time skip one month into the future at the beginning of at the prepared as, as we see Konoha meeting on a battlefield, followed by Aang and their warriors, along with Yakoski, which, which actually just includes Kis oh, not Kisame, Konan, Pain, the six pounds of Pain, which has seven people already. Then we got Hidon, Kakuzu, Zetsu, and Toby. That's 11 people. That's 11 people already. Plus um, Aang's forces. 
as Naruto then begins to stand in front of Konoha alongside Shinade, Kakashi, and Jiraiya. As they all begin to charge towards end the forces, Naruto Bay is running towards pain. Seeing as pain has the um has the rating on it, he needs to be taken down first. As Naruto dispelled one of his clones that are um, that have gathered nature energy within Konoha, and Naruto has an abundance of nature energy. Naruto's juggling it. Naruto says, I guess it's time to see if this seal works. As Naruto begins to activate a seal that begins to siphon the excess sage energy. Jutsu Chakra from him. As Naruto then dispels the rest of the clones while this still as the chakra falls within him, Naruto begins to slowly turn into a gigantic dragon. But he slowly detransforms back into his normal self. As Naruto then says, Well then, take this. <clears throat> Ice release. <clears throat> Ice Dragon Bullet. As Naruto's as not as, as a dragon head made of ice will form from the ground from the water around him. As, it would, as the water freezes, turns into a dragon head. As the dragon's mouth, where its tongue is at, will be open, and there's a ball that begins to release a bunch of compressed ice blasts from it, hitting the paths of pain, taking them away. As Naruto eventually causes path with the Tendo pain, as Naruto kicks him away, as Naruto then dodges another attack from one of the other paths of pain, as he then jumps up to dodge an attack from the dude in the orange mask. As Naruto then slashes the, the animal path in half, completely in half. As Naruto then says, um, then say fire style, dragon's war. As Naruto will then close his blade and down fire chakra. It's just flames, but instead of being white, would then turn blue. As Naruto will then begin to cut the animal path into even more pieces, basically eventually turning the path into basically ashes that scatter throughout the wind. As now Pain no longer has access to summon the other um no longer has access to the summoning animals. Unless the normal pain gets into battle. Toby says he dispatched the animal path very easily. As this is in what the, I believe it's the Naraka path that can still so then appear behind Naruto trying to take him. As Naruto eventually just cuts off one of its arms before then jumping back as the Tendo Pain says, Universal Pull, as he pulls Naruto towards him, as Naruto begins performing a, um, a Jutsu, as Storm Clock begins to form, as Naruto says, Storm Release, Storm Dragon's Barrage, as the lightning above him begins to transform into dragons to shoot down at the Tendo Pain, which begins to grab him and drag him away, dragging him on the ground, as they then explode, electrocuting this one, but the pain would get up nonetheless. As Naruto dodges two attacks from the Usher path and the um, outer, not the outer path, the, um, the Diva path, the ten, which is Tendo Pain, I believe. There's Diva, Naraka, uh, he, oh, Human Path, Human Path. He will dodge an um, attack from, I believe, the Usher path and the Human Path, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. Um, he will dodge two attacks from him. As Naruto delivered the, the famous Uchiha split kick. If you don't know what I'm talking about, we've all seen that split kick that we see the Uchiha hit with Obito hitting it, Madara hitting it, even Sasuke. I believe, I'm not sure if Itachi or Shizui has hit it, but we do know that the Uchiha has kind of, we've seen the Uchiha hit that move a lot more. <clears throat> and Naruto would then say, Lightning style, lightning drill. As Naruto begins to coat himself in lightning chakra, similar into light, basically is like A's lightning armor, but allows A to move at hyper speeds. Like um, as Naruto then begins to spin, and to, with his arms stretched out like in a diving motion, which for is the portion of the drill. As Naruto begins to drill with them to the ground, but the ground is covered in water. As Naruto, as Naruto's lightning chakra begins to to basically electrocute everyone in the radius of it. As far as his chakra can go at least. Which is pretty far, but it would not affect any of his uh, Karnashi Nobis who are nowhere near his battle. As this is then where Jiraiya would drop down before then punching away the Ashura path. With his mind paw on his, on his um, shoulders. As Naruto says, did you take my advice? Jiraiya, as Naruto looks at Jiraiya to see orange toe pupils 
on his eyes with my power with him. Not to say good. Now that I finished this. As Naruto and Jiraiya holds out their hand as they both jump up in here. Before this, a super massive Rasengan. Super, uh, I believe it was a super massive Rasengan. Super old time when I said God. And they were just slamming into the ground. As Naruto and Pain would then say, Enough of this. Almighty push. As he then begins to push Naruto and Jiraiya away. But Naruto says, I think it's time I keep this up. As Jai says, so you're gonna use that. It's not to say it's very well. Yes, very well. As Naruto then begins to glow a yellow orange tint as flames begin to somewhat flicker off of him. Not to say they could go. As he then begins to rush towards pain, moving at light speeds. As Naruto kicks pain directly, he has a kick at pain, this goes directly through his gut. So that's how fast and how powerful that kick was. And this is like maybe like one the other pass of pain getting away, so uh it would actually be the one, not the tender, not the deeper path. So Naruto would then um dodge attack from the Prater Path. This seems that the Prater Path is moving again, so emotion is Naruto would then say, tell Beast Bomb as he then throws the Prater Path into the um into the air before then a chakra arm will form before it, Forming a tail beast bomb as it then stretches out towards the prayer path, destroying the prayer path. As Naruto then says, You're now, you're you're now what two paths, which is the prayer and the animal path. That leaves the human path, the usher path, um, Eva, there's three out of the six, so it's, we're missing one more path. What is that last path? It's the Naraka, Prater, Animal. Oh, the Naraka path, Diva path. Human path, thing, an usher path. I believe there's a four. I'm not sure. I know I'm missing one, and I can't remember it for the life of me. Anyways, <clears throat> Naruto would then say, "Well, then, try this on for size." As Naruto says, "Kyuubi, are you ready?" As Kurama says, "Yes." And they both clasp hands as Naruto be emit a even gold and more golden cloak. As a cloak will then be deformed from these golden flames. As seals begin to spread around his body. As Naruto's eyes begin to enter that of Dragon Sage mode. Which is, is somewhat similar to the markings of Baryan mode on his face. That's, that's, it's like the markings on his face, not the ears, but the markings on his face from Baryan mode. This is what Naruto's eyes look like. And his eyes are black or purple with a slit down the middle. As Naruto then enters Dragon says, along with KCM2. As Naruto then says, well, let's take them down with one final attack. As Naruto then, be in one hand, the QB begins to form a, t well, in one hand, the QB begins to form a wind stop watch and shuriken. And in the other hand, he begins to form, <clears throat> um, he begins to form a tail beast ball. As Naruto eventually begins to bring both hands together, as both chakras begin to collide, but not to battle, they don't battle each other. They begin to combine now. As Naruto then says, Ultimate, when thou tell beasts for us in Shuriken? As Naruto would then tell Jiraiya to get out of there. As Naruto would then throw the tilt of in Shuriken upon the re remaining paths of pain, destroying each and every one of them. None of them are escaping this. I know I probably demonstrated that power in the wrong way, but I mean, I don't really, I couldn't really think of it. I could have just had him form himself as a shuriken, but because Naruto has never done it before, this is how I have him do it for the first time. So yeah, that's why I had him do it that way. As Naruto then um, sees as Obito appears with a new mask, new model appears with a new mask, and a new eye, being. As Raya then asks, where's Conan at? As Conan looks at, at Martobi, only to see him now the ring on. But Conan senses this power. This is Naruto. She begins to become enraged. She begins attacking Toby. As Raya says, it works best for us. As they all begin to triple, triple team Toby. 
It's Toby B- does not have any of his six passes being the six of turkeys that he would have had in the war. I guess over one is very much overwhelmed from this. But he then uses the almighty push to push them away. As Zensu then um, tells him to perform the jutsu now. As Conan then tells him, don't let him perform this jutsu. Whatever it is, he's bringing someone back to life. And for my to bring someone back to life means they're extremely powerful. As he begins to scream, only for his screams to stop, as Naruto has placed the seal within him. <clears throat> or it's still on his left side, on his left eye, or right eye. Whichever eye that we're hitting on, is Naruto's placed the seal. This is what you're doing. As Naruto says, I've stopped your flow to the Renegon. Only I can remove the seal. As Naruto kicks him away, as Obito says, well, I don't need this thing. As Obito ripped off the mask, as he then begins to as he begins running towards Naruto, as Naruto is wondering what's happening. Why did he rip off his mask? As Obito, let's say the damn thing was getting in my way anyway. As Obito runs towards Naruto before then using, I believe, the five star bomb blast dance upon Naruto. As Naruto then says, "Well, take this on for size." As Naruto then says, "Fire stop, majestic destroyer flame." As blue flames begin to come out from Naruto. As I says, blue flames, as Naruto says, is a kind of habit where now it's training with the Kisame. As Naruto would then begin to collide, that flame, it will be a battle of flames, with Naruto's flames easily, easily overtaking Obito's eventually. As Obito then uses Kami to get away, as when he faces, when the attack finishes, he sees Naruto will die down. He is shocked to see as Naruto comes out of the flames, literally, and punches him. But he sees Naruto's hand begin to burn also. As Naruto grabs his arm, as he begins to breathe a little bit heavy, it means he's kind of in pain a little bit. He kind of, kind of did get into his own attack to land that hit Obito. As Conan then reveals the information that he can only stay within his pot, he can only phase, stay, uh, continue to phase for at least four or five minutes at most. Mm. And Naruto then says, Well, then, let's go. As Naruto then says, Dragon Claw, as Naruto's arm then transform, as he begins to send an abundance of nature chakra to it. As Naruto then begins to rush towards Obito. And Naruto then slashes Obito right where he's at. So Obito faces through it, only for Naruto to disappear and the Naruto and, and another Naruto appear in front of him. As Obito was looking behind him, and the other Naruto then just faced through him, only for Obito to be slashed with four claw marks or five claw marks going directly through his torso, going to his torso. So Obito grabs his torso and jumps back. He says, "This is over," as he disappears with a um combo. Naruto is looking around as Obito then tries to grab Naruto from below. As Naruto jumps up, as Obito then um then decides to uh he since Obito can only use short range combo, Obito disappears. Only to appear from Kakashi as Naruto sees it. He says, Kakashi, watch out! As Naruto disappears in a white flash, appearing right where Obi- Kakashi was. He pushes him out of the way before then kicking Obito away. As Obi- Kakashi then says, that was as Naruto asks him what, what happened, and Kakashi reveals to him that that person there is Obito Uchiha, the person which, who gave him this eye. Naruto says, so this is Obito. So isn't he supposed to be dead? As Kakashi says, he's supposed to be. And Naruto says, well then, Kakashi, let's take him on. Let's take him on. You're the last... We're one of the last few people with the shining eyes. Naruto then calls out for Itachi as Itachi then appears. Naruto says Itachi, that's as Naruto then and Itachi then begin to form two sonos. With Itachi taking on Sasuke's eyes, Itachi now has the Mangekyo shining eye. But Sasuke he had awakened from seeing the truth about the Uchiha clan. Even though he had just awakened them. Itachi were taking his eyes. Naruto had taken Sasuke's eyes to implant them within Itachi. As Naruto's eyes begin to glow, <clears throat> as 
Naruto then um then begins to uh, form the white suits and the white Tachi begins to form a red suit and a perfect suit and all. Unlike Sasuke suit, Sasuke is supposed to have formed the perfect suit and all with the Mangekyo, eternal Mangekyo Sharingan, guy, which gives you the ability to actually stabilize it to form the perfect suit and all. Itachi and Naruto both would have been able to do so with Naruto no longer have no needing of the eternal. Or actually, I believe I did give him Chisui's eyes in one eye, one of his own, if I'm not mistaken, or in that crow actually. So yes, as Naruto then said, Kakashi, you'll be ground attack while we attack from above without Susanoo's. As Itachi nods, as Obito then says, these Susanoo's are clearly big and get in the way. As Naruto says, but not in the way that we're going to use them. As Naruto Susanoo will then begin to open its arm, as Itachi Susanoo begins to fade into Naruto. With the Susanoo taking on a lighter red tint, with both Naruto and um, Itachi being in his hand. As in one hand, is as there's the Susanoo then grab, it's like a bigger version of the perfect Susanoo. It's twice as big with two arms. With four arms, actually. Two of the arms hold Naruto's katanas. So two of Naruto's samurai, um, Susanoo katanas, while the lower two hosts Itachi's Adamara and, and Itachi's Tosuka blade. As the Tosca blade swings down on Obito, Obito phases through it. As Kakashi appears behind Obito, as soon as he starts phasing to perform a Chidori, trying, but he only goes through him. As he as he touch as um, he touches then tells us to Kakashi to watch back. As Kakashi turns back as he touches, tries to perform the uh, Tosca blade once more. Obito then says, sorry, Kakashi, but I need this eye back. As he appears behind Kakashi before taking his shark guard, ripping it right out of him. Performing a little bit of medical ninja to allowing him to keep the eye intact. As he then begins to form his own Susanoo, being a much, not, it's much, it's like a much darker blue than even the martyrs. Martyrs, well, martyrs is a blue, but Obito is going to be a dark blue, while Kakashi would have been a light blue. This Susano seemingly has the same scars on his face that Obito has. As Obito then, we all see Kikashi form the, the um, perfect Susano even with the, um, <clears throat> even with the, two, with just the double market kill starting on the DMS. So I want to have Obito be able to perform this ability. As Obito will then begin to combat this, um, this other Susano, Susano to Susano. Obito notices that he's overwhelming, he's overwhelmingly overpowered. The only power that saved him is his ability to use calmly on the Susano. On his own Susano. As Naruto then says, Tachi, we have to take him out now. And she says, right. As Naruto jumps from the Susano, forcing Itachi Susano to perform back. As his own Susano, as Obito not expecting this, his Naruto Susano will punch Obito Susano. Born and stomping on him as, as um as Itachi is about to stab Obito with the Tosca blade, only for Obito to calmly uh, to deactivate the Susano, getting out of the way of the Tosca blade. As Obito then lands on the ground, as Naruto appears behind him and says, "I got you." As Obi as the illusion of the Susano begins to drop, he sees that Itachi and Naruto and Kakashi are in the exact same place. His eye, he only still has the Renegade. He still has the Renegade and everything. With him having discarded the Renegade into his time space dimension. And as Obito says, I was in a Genjutsu the whole time. Yes, you were. As Naruto places his blade directly through Obito's back, causing Obito to scream, Naruto rips out his eye. And Naruto then says, Die. Die where you deserve to die. As he then recites the words that Obito once recited to Kakashi. Those who don't follow the rules are, are scum, right? Yes, but those who abandon their friends are worse than scum. As Naruto then cuts Obito's um, body clean in half, like down the middle clean in half, not like diagonally clean in half, like down the middle. Obito falls to the ground, with Kakashi saying, I wish it could have been different it's you made it to where that wasn't even possible. 
This is it too, appears to say no. As he tries to grab the Obito's uh, Sharingan from either Kakashi or Naruto, only for Naruto to dodge. Naruto says Itachi now. As he places the uh, he places Zetsu under Genjutsu before then using uh, Itachi would use Amaterasu on it, burning Zetsu away. As now uh, we see as Conan lands next to them. As Naruto would then tell Conan he's going to retrieve Naruto's uh, Renegade. As Naruto, he's, Naruto then tells Kakashi that he's going to implant Obito Sharingan within his eyes, that maybe Kakashi could do some good with these. As Kakashi would not, as Naruto and uh, Naruto and uh, Naruto would implant the eyes within Kakashi before they, uh, Sakura, Naruto would call Sakura to him. And Sakura would appear before the healing Kakashi dies as best as he can, well, as good as, she, as good as it will be. As Kakashi eventually uses the Kamui upon him and Naruto as they appear in the mindscape, but in the not the mindscape, in the Kamui dimension, where Naruto sees Nagato's body. Nagato is barely alive, and Naruto then says, So you're Nagato. Naruto says, Naruto, help me. Naruto says, Why should I? As he says, You're right, why should you help me? I've done nothing but cause this world trouble. I guess I was right about these eyes. They bring nothing but destruction every time I use them. Let me die. As Naruto then says, no. You will repent for what you have, have happened. I won't let death make you, I won't let you get off easily with death. As Naruto um, grabs um, Nagato, who has one Renegade in his eye and only has one eye socket, one eyeball in his socket. As Naruto then tells Kakashi to grab the jar with the running guy in it. As Kakashi grabs the jar, they disappear from Kamui. As they reappear with Konan running towards Naruto, seeing Nagato in his hands. As Naruto would then tell Konan and Nagato that they're going to be serving some jail some time. They're going to be put in prison for some time. Until they can get them out. At least. Maybe they can put a, an organization together to battle the Kakashi. As Nagato was saying, yes, maybe we can one day. As Nagato falls unconscious, when Naruto calling for Tsunade or Sakura to, or one of the other medic needs to come heal Nagato. As this marks the end of the war, with both with both Hidan and Kakuzu actually being taken care of by other shinobis. But the other learners of the hidden leaf shinobi them to not standing a chance against a lot of the hidden leaf shinobis. Like I mean a lot of them, they don't they don't stand a chance really. There's Team Guy, there's Guy itself, there's Team Asuma, which is um the Inoshiga Cho trio, along with Asuma. And then there's Team Current Nine. Yeah, they most definitely did not stand a chance, even with those three teams there, but there's a lot more teams there. Other teams that we don't really know too much about. <clears throat> There's even the normal Shik you know, Shika Cho trio, which being Inoichi, Shikaku, Nara, and then um, Choza Akamichi. So, yes, <laughs> you know, the characters were extremely outmatched by them. Naruto, um, the battle will eventually come to an end with everyone heading back to Konoha, where eventually they would then be met up by Danza on his route. As Naruto then says, he has this. As Danzo says, no, I have you. As Danzo looks at Naruto, only for a crow to appear. Naruto says, so, I'm glad I sent you to the Dragon Road with time speeds up. As Naruto then uses the crow to counsel out Danzo's um, Koto Matsukami. Danzo can only use it once a day, and he's just wasted it. As Danzo begins being angered. As he says, no, I won't let you get this. As before you can do anything, Naruto will appear in front of him. With the rest of the Konoha men taken on route, Naruto will then tell Danzo to die. As Itachi appears behind Danzo, with a red blade sticking out of Danzo's back, his being the Tosca blade. Before Danzo could be sealed away, Naruto reached into his eye, and then would take off his arm. We're saying, Bye, Donzo. I hope you rocked. As Donzo would eventually be sealed away within the land of drunken dreams. With a Tosca blade. 
as Naruto, Itachi, the Konohan, they joined the Konohan and taking out the root man, which would be fairly easy for them. Because the majority of the root men are from clan are from clans. They would be able to easily take them on because they don't there are some people who they like they're literally going against clans themselves. There's some Hayugas going against them. There's a few Hayugas in root. There's a few um Abaramas going against Abaramas in root. That's what I mean. So they, they really they fairly take them out fairly easily. <clears throat> so eventually they all return back to Kona. All to itself, where they announced the, the win over the Akoski. Now, eventually, Conan, um, Conan, um, Kisame, and Nagato will serve some jail time. But Naruto will eventually get them out, with Naruto and Itachi ro uh, going on the road with these three, starting their own organization. <clears throat> I don't really know what name I could give them, but Naruto is eventually joined by Sakura, and we all know where this is going to go. I did set this up to where Sakura would be the one to end up with Naruto. No, he not, because I don't really see a point in that, like I said. But yes, yeah, Naruto would end up with Sakura. <clears throat> uh, so yes, I hope you guys, uh, we eventually time skip. But actually, I'm not going to end it here. I'm going to have this time skip to like years after like three, three to four years after this group has been established around the elemental nations, and after the tail beasts have been returned to the other nations, like the six and the three tails have been returned to um, Kiri, the two tails has been returned to Kumo, the um, four and five tails has been returned to um, what was it? To um, what was it called? Um, to Iowa or um, the Hidden Stone Village, the the six tails being re oh, no, the, the seven tails being returned back to Taki. <clears throat> so yes, it would all be returned and be resealed away. With Naruto telling them to not seal these people and not to seal the bijis into Jinturikis, but to seal them into objects. As Naruto would then give them objects powered by Senjutsu, which should be powerful enough to hold the Jinturikis. These be tell bees, telling them that the bees will no longer participate in the war. He promised that to his own bees, that in war must he know bees they will not fight. In war against the world's common enemy, they will fight. This would have been would eventually broker a peace treaty between all the nations within the elemental nations, even the remnants of the hidden rain village, which Conan and Payne would then return to to take back over. And pain will lead the Ray Village to a much, much better future. So, eventually, years later, Naruto will become the Hokage. I don't really see him not becoming Hokage. Well, I did not have him state that he wants to become Hokage itself. Naruto does become Hokage. And this will be after, um, not Itachi. Itachi is still kind of, Itachi did some jail time. I don't think they'll have him become a um, Hokage. So, I'll say right after. Kakashi. Kakashi will become Hokage with, especially with him having two Sharing Gods. He will most definitely become Hokage. And this is actually where we're going to end the What If off. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is the first What If that I'm actually finishing since I went on break. Well, I've actually, I actually recorded the Toby Robin one before I even went on break. I just never um, edited it and uploaded it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I will see you guys later. What if entertainment out?